That is such a... <laughs> it's gonna be a stream that like nobody watches, but... I mean, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Um. Yeah, now I don't want to play anything. It's really not great, man. Because <laughs> now my body's just like, okay, recover from the freaking like all oh, what you just ate. <laughs> That's what my body's in the mode of doing. Like I'm. I can't be like, okay, yep, let's play a game now. <laughs> I haven't burped at all while talking though, which is kind of crazy. I thought that would have been happening by now, but apparently not. Apparently, we're still good. <laughs> that's, uh, that's neat. So yeah, probably nothing's gonna happen during this stream. I'm just... I mean, there's like a couple things I'd want to talk about, but like that's about it. Even then, like, uh... Oh, and there's the first burp. <sighs> um, I'm sure there's gonna be many more of those. Oh, there's another one. I think why I do is because I eat so fast. I think that's why. It happens. It's because I eat so fast. It's kind of just how I've always been. <laughs> yeah, I guess if I'm like streaming, it's like not a great thing. Cause then I just like can't really speak as coherently as I'd probably want. I'd want to, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's kind of a an issue. <laughs> but yeah, I was just seeing like the. Uh, I don't know, I guess maybe it's incredible for me to do this. But, I mean, life is just full of hypocrisy, you know? But I was just seeing, like, I was just going to America and I got a video about, like, what happened with Gerard with the, like, charity fraud and stuff. Um, and it just, like, made me really annoyed. Because <laughs> the thing is, like, I think it was a, a recap video. But, like, it was made, like, way after the thing happened. I'm okay with recap videos, you know? I, I feel like if it just, like, seems like it's over and then you just make it, it's like, okay, cool. You give everybody a recap of what happened, and, like, maybe people are coming across it. You know, they just so happen to run into it. Because <laughs> my main issue with it is, uh... Y y you're just gonna give him a new wave of hate. And just like, I'm sure he's already guilty about it. And then you brought it back up again, and people are just going to constantly remind him, on top of the people who already probably still were constantly reminding them. It's like, yeah, you know. I guess it's different, because the one I'm referring to also is Leffen, because I saw a like, technicals video on it. And it's like, yeah, no, he hasn't changed. He's a bad person. And like he plays the victim card and like actually acts like a right winger. <laughs> it's so funny too because he said the like, oh yeah, they're using right wing fucking points when he's literally doing the right wing thing of whenever anybody calls him out, he uh, plays a victim card. See, so, yeah, the irony is uh, insane. Oh, that's the thing with right wingers though, man. They just like, I'm not saying left nothing as a right winger. I'm just saying like <laughs> right wingers in general. Um. They, they, they just self-report. They call people that, like, what they actually are. <laughs> and it's very funny. It, it just sucks that I'm pretty sure people can just get away with that and it just works for some reason. And it's like, use your brain, dude. No. <laughs> yeah, society, we're, we're screwed. You know. We got two old men. And, you know, we're, we're, we're doomed. Man's literally pulling a Vegeta as to why he won't step out, and I'm not talking about like when Vegeta's actually cool and like he he actually beats the person. I'm talking when he first beats the the freaking antagonist is like, oh, I'm going to destroy him, and then he gets destroyed. And it's like, well, we all knew that because it was like the 50th time, you know. 
And like, so obviously pick up on that. It's like, we all knew this was gonna happen. You just screwed us all over. <laughs> like seriously, the Vegeta uh, analogy I feel like works out very well, except if you replace like, oh, only I can be Kakarot with any DBZ antagonist, because Trump is not Goku. He is uh, an antagonist. <laughs> Like, that's the only thing I can see, like, where that doesn't work out. <laughs> Mine, that, mine's literally just freaking Vegeta. Dude, and it's like, great. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you know, these characters are maybe cool when, like, we don't have to deal with them, but then, like, you know, when our freaking whole livelihoods are dependent on it, then, like, yeah, no, it sucks. <laughs> I'm sure Vegeta was not popular among the locals. You know? Because, I mean,. This is what it actually is, you know? It freaking sucks. <laughs> I just sneeze. <laughs> it's just like... Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, I think the difference with, like, completionist and left and things, like, I think completionist does have the potential to get better. And then you just dropped it on him, and I think he actually felt guilty about it. And again, you just dropped it on him. Again. And bringing potentially new eyes back on it. <laughs> So he gets more hate compared to Leffen, who just only plays the victim cards and then just moves on. Like, because just think, this is like the first time I think Gerard has been like hit with something like this, you know? Leffen has been hit with this like 20 times, <laughs> at least. So like, <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's slightly different in that regard. I think it definitely matters the like type of person it is. I also don't like because I talked about the other one too, where I saw the like, what was it like the complete exoneration of Joe Conroy or something like that? And then it just literally in the thumbnail pointing to like the two of them being liars. I saw the video being a re-upload, so I think like maybe they just took it down because they're like, oh yeah, no, that's probably not a good idea. But of course, people just pull it back up anyway, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure is just like illegal. But I mean, internet law. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares about internet law, man? And like, tech, like laws involving technology. Nobody cares. It's freaking wild, wild west over here. Because I think like literally you can't take a picture of someone if you don't have consent, and people do that all the time. <laughs> and it's illegal to do that. <laughs> like in America, we don't care. Or like, I think you would probably have to blur their face or something like that. Like, if you're taking like a selfie of yourself or something like that, and like someone's face or something like that just happens to be in it, you have to blur it. Because I assume as long as it doesn't show their face, you'd be fine. Or like any like doxing details, I guess. That was a, no better way to put it. So like their name, license plates, all that. You'd have to blur those out. But yeah, I think otherwise you'd be fine. Because, I mean, yeah, who's going to be like, oh, yeah, I know this person from this jacket. Like, you're only going to know that if you're, like, really close to them. The other stuff, obviously, they, they can just look up about you. Um, yeah. I didn't get to it, actually, because I was going on that whole tangent. I don't even remember what the tangent. Because I know, like, because I'm going back to it, but, like, I'm trying to think what started i think i forgot though <laughs> um but yeah uh i'm blanking <laughs> i'm losing my mind um but yeah going back to that <laughs> now i'm coughing jesus <laughs> this is really getting out of hand um i just don't enjoy those videos like that though because it, it put in the thumbnail like them being liars and it's like, don't do that, dude. Come on. I think they took it down because like Emil literally admitted to doing some of it. And so like obviously like it's just false. <laughs> like even then, like don't go for fully exonerating people. I feel like it's just a lot better if you one, trust the victims and then two, you wish the person both parties uh like the best and like they can come back from it you know <clears throat> and that includes the criminal too because <laughs> also like it's a mental health issue why they and i think actually a lot of it's from poverty too because like a lot of mental issues also from poverty 
So there's also that. <laughs> so yeah, it's like mental mental health obviously is like the main thing, and then like poverty contributes to that a little bit as well. And then obviously for like the robberies and all that, that's literally poverty. Or like stealing from like a Girl Scout or something like that. And people are like, oh, how can they steal from a Girl Scout? Because they don't have money. Like, it's it's very obvious. <laughs> like, they're super desperate and they're desperate enough to steal from a Girl Scout. It's because they don't have money. It's very obvious. And I'm sure they, they hit that as a, like a rhetorical question. I just hate that so much, dude. It's one of my biggest pet peeves when you just actually ask like a, a question like that. It's like, oh, why is this like this? And then just don't look into like an actual answer. I mean, I guess there are like some things in lives, but I feel like it's usually like lewd, you know? If it has like a lewd meaning to like where you wouldn't want to know the answer. But if it's like actually like a legitimate one, then like, I don't know. Well, I guess to maybe some people also it wouldn't be as fun. I don't know. Maybe not. Like it is kind of, they'd want to be like ignorance is bliss in that kind of case. I guess I'm just someone who doesn't like being ignorant. <laughs> like I want to know what's going on, which is funny because I know absolutely nothing about other languages and very little about other cultures. <laughs> I'm an American. What do you want from me, man? I'm a straight white male American. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> like. I don't mean to be like, oh yeah, I'm not going to change, but I'm just saying like, come on, look at the stereotype. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. But, yeah. I wish I had more going on with this screen. Like, I need a chat box. I have like, where chat would be, because like, let me just do it. Just a bit, a bit. Like, there it is. Yeah, it's right there. But I feel like I need a box to go along with it. <laughs> That would probably make sense. Um, and I'd probably enjoy that. <laughs> what is this? Why is it? Oh, I do have a screen capture. I don't know why I do, honestly. Because that can just go to like PC and all that. <laughs> just removed it from it. It was like, there's no point in me having it. Um, yeah, this also stays for 30 seconds. I think the time and how long it stays up really only matters for you know, if you have a very small chat. Because, like, otherwise it'll just go up to the top and obviously it'll, it'll just delete up there. I would say maybe, like, lags the stream out, so you'd also want to make it shorter because of that. That actually might be why, too. It could probably make the stream more laggy if it has to keep, like, having those older ones on the stream. I'd also probably have to keep that in account. Although right now I have nobody watching me, so that's why it's, like, fine if I uh, do that now. But... Yeah, I also want like with these just like a chat box somewhere, but like I don't unless I just make like a small area like um, I can't really show it. But like bottom right, just like a tiny area for it. But even then, I feel like it's kind of hard to see it. It's like, I don't know. And like also, I honestly forget sometimes like, yeah, you can't see the bottom left. I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, I think with a lot of games, it doesn't matter ultimately all that much, but like, <laughs> there is times where I'm definitely like, oh yeah, I have to, uh, <laughs> I can't do that. Me, yeah. What's also, I think, because I forget I have the PNG tuber up. <laughs> the very, very low budget PNG tuber. <laughs> that I made myself and then just straight up said, good enough. <laughs> yeah, it's. It's real bad. But like, I'm not spending... How much was Photoshop? Like, let me see. How much was it? That would be Photoshop. How much was it a month? $23 a month. Like, no. I'm not spending $23 a month for something I probably won't use all that much, to be perfectly honest. I'm just probably not going to use it all that much. So, like... I'm not spending $23 a month. Because, like... We're tight on money, and like, I think we have a little wiggle room, but like, I'm not gonna spend $23 a month is crazy. <laughs> like, we don't have that much wiggle room, maybe like $10 a month, maybe. Not $23. <laughs> like, 
Yeah, the thing is, though, I've never seen myself as poor, because obviously I have the capability to do this, you know? Um, and I also have, what is that, three, four, five game consoles, although the PS2 is a gift from my uncle, so I'm not sure if we had to pay anything for that. Probably. But I've had four uh, consoles, and then we had two Switches. Uh, a 2DS, I think we had two 2DS's, two regular DS's, two 3DS's, I think, um, for me and my brother, and then two gaming computers, which to be fair, we got a lot, a lot cheaper, um, cause we had someone build them, and obviously he charged a lot, like, a lot less than how much it would have cost, like, if we got all the parts together, so... Yeah, we had a lot of money when, uh, you know, my mom and dad were still together. But yeah, I think now we've gotten to the point where we're kind of strapped. Because <laughs> my mom has said many times, like, once child support's gone, uh, we're in trouble. <laughs> so, that's awesome. I do hate, though, that's, like, literally why I'm, like, forced to freaking drive, though, too. That's, that's awesome, dude. I love that. <laughs> I literally made my decision before I started driving, like, I'm gonna move to a bigger city just so I don't have to deal with driving. I will say, like, money and driving, I feel like if you just eliminate those two, a lot of stress and a lot of, like, useless information, you know, we need to learn, like, it, it would just be gone. Because, like, in the moment, sure, it's valuable, but, like, realistically, if you're trying to go for that perfect society, that utopia, they're not needed at all because money just makes it worse for humanity and like cars is not the future transportation if you want the future transportation it should be ideally us be able to walk anywhere <laughs> you know that should be the future transportation and i think you know everywhere else is doing that except america where the car companies are like yeah no make more cars I've said before, but the one AI thing I won't back, pretty much, is AI cars, like smart cars, and that's just because I don't think they're necessary, because cars aren't necessary. Because, <laughs> like, well, maybe AI art, AI art's a weird one. I My thing, though, is just, like, the people who ma are making the AIs, like, they know. They know about all the fears and like, oh, AI taking over the world and all that, right? Like, they're going to take the steps to prevent that. It's like, I don't understand why we're just worrying about it so much. <laughs> Literally saw a freaking Twitter account. I'm not going to say it because they're freaking dumb. Um, but like, it was the like, chat GPT like O thing or something like that, which is literally just like neuro, but like slightly better. <laughs> That Twitter post account like said like, oh, we're doomed. <laughs> Society is doomed. It's over. And it's like, we already have this though. Like, <laughs> we literally already have this. And like, even look at him like, yeah, no, we're we're fine. Like, if you see Neuro, you're, like we're, <laughs> you know, like, okay, as a society, we're fine as of right now. And I mean, I think there are a lot of people who are attached to Neuro. But I think they also realize, like, hey, she's not a threat. <laughs> she's, like, an entertainer. And, like, I think when they go along with her a lot of the times, it's because, like, oh, it's an entertainment thing. Like, they're not truly believing it. <laughs> it's like, oh, cute AI girl. Like, that's how I see it anyway. It's also why, like, for the longest time I said... Well, it was also when I think I was watching Neuroclips, which was... I think the third VTuber I watched a lot of clips of, because first was Amelie, and then second was Numi, I think. And then that got me to Neuro clips. I believe I started watching Neuro like after the subathon, so like honestly when she... <laughs> Neuro was on break, like it actually wasn't that bad, because I had all of this other stuff that I could watch, so it actually really wasn't that bad. I mean, yeah, for the old Neuro fans who were fans since like the subathon, like yeah, no, that was... <laughs> That was probably painful, but I even saw in like the daily dose. So I was like, man, they're really, they're really struggling to find clips now, <laughs> which is funny. But uh, 
Shit, I forgot what was going on. But yeah, but for me it was fine. Uh, to like watch those clips, like I, I think it was really only like that last like week or two, and I was like, oh man, I really want new stuff now. So I mean, yeah, it wasn't that bad. But anyway, <laughs> what was this, what was the point of this? Oh yeah, it's why I said Neuro's Mayoshi because I found I thought it was weird to be like, oh yeah, this nor like this actual person. I don't know what. I know Oshi and the VTubing is like, what's your favorite, uh, was it Kamiyoshi? Or something like that, right? Yeah, Kamiyoshi. Um, Yoshi is somebody who wants to see 16 to support them. Ah, that's a lot nicer. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was like, and you know what? <laughs> that's on me. That's actually a very wholesome definition. I don't know why I thought it was going to be weird. I don't know. I, I really don't. Why did I... I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, it does make it like... Well then, to be fair, like everybody watches my Oshi then, because I want to see all of them succeed. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, I feel like then that makes it especially weird then, like, using that as a definition for Oshi. Because I feel like also with Oshi, you could probably have it as multiple definitions. Yeah, Kamiyoshi is just your favorite, favorite idol, and it says on that one. Um, like, yeah, God favorite, that's what, okay, yeah. Yeah, your ultimate bias or favorite member. So, like, that makes more sense. I thought, um... Like, if you're saying, like, oh, who you want to support and who you want to see, then by that definition, like, everyone's my Yoshi. Like, what are you talking about? Because <laughs> I want to see all of them do well, you know? But yeah, I, I figured it was something more of, like, what's just your favorite member. Which, that's also weird for me. It's like, I feel like it's always hard to be like, oh, who's your best friend or something like that, if you have, like, a lot of friends. Because then it's just like, oh, well, I feel like I'm just, like, taking shots unintentionally at people. Maybe that's just me being bad at like social skills and stuff like that. It's like even when like I bring up my Oshi, like, or like when I want to talk about that, it's just like it's weird because I feel like then you're just you're just being like, oh, you're not as good as this person, and it's just like, hmm, <laughs> and I don't enjoy that. And I can see why like other people wouldn't like like that because I think they have the same mindset as me. I'm just like. Yeah, we're, I don't want to uh, potentially offend anyone, you know? I feel like I still might say it, but just know, like, if I do say it, I'm probably not... <laughs> it's probably not going to be the most enjoyable thing for me. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I think, again, that's also why it's awkward. <clears throat> Especially for the ones in, like, agencies, like... Because I think, like, Justice got a last that, like, Call of Justice. And, like, I think they've been really, like, kind of awkward to answer that. And it's because, like, yeah, it's... And I think Cecilia even said, too, it's like, they're all great. And then, like... I think she then said, like, Ina. But then, like, went back and said, like, they're all great. You know? Because it's, like, it's just weird. <laughs> like, it, it... It's... I feel like it's a lot more complicated than just being like, oh, yeah, you're my favorite. Because, like... I'm sure there are some people who wouldn't care if they're not the one who's picked, but I'm sure there's also some people who would care. <laughs> or at least, like, in your brain you think that, right? Like, realistically, it's probably like they wouldn't care. Like, I'm sure, like, if they did say your name, it's like, oh, neat. But, like, and then, like, if you're like, it's like, oh, okay. Good for them, you know? But for me, and probably a lot of people who have social anxiety and, like, Bad social skills, they're probably just thinking that. I overthink stuff a lot. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> but yeah. Um it, and, and it's just that's why I think it's I find it weird. <laughs> I need to stop coughing because I think those are habit coughs and I need to chill out. <laughs> I need to stop doing it. Yeah. 
I also need to find more songs, man. I haven't updated this in so long, and I keep losing songs because, oh, it turns out they're actually copyright. <laughs> I did not know you or know our names is copyright, but apparently it is. <laughs> so, yeah. To be fair, I think a lot of them are just claims. They're not, uh... <laughs> they're not gonna, like, strike me or anything, but it's still, like, annoying. <laughs> I think why the karaoke's for like the Hololive members are unarchived is because they would be strikes. Cause yeah, I I didn't realize actually if you use the melody too, like it's uh, they can copyright that, which makes sense, you know. You gotta change it a little bit, but I think even like if you make something like five percent faster, then like you can't get copyright for it, which is kind of crazy. But <laughs> yeah, I think that's what a lot of people do when like they like show like wrestling clips or something like that just like un unedited or uh <clears throat> stuff like that is like they'll just speed up slightly or like pitch it up slightly something like that they'll do like a slight tweak to it so like they can't get hit by like copyright or anything yeah it, it is kind of crazy which yeah, i'm starting to make me wonder like it's actually like to get around youtube's copyright specifically like the auto copyright and not just uh like a law because i feel like that still would be like illegal because i feel like even then like it, it's barely noticeable the change but i mean what do i know <laughs> i know nothing probably wanted to play civ but the last time i tried to open up civ it uh, crashed or at least load up a game because it did open up I, I was just loading into a game and then the, <laughs> my computer said no so it's definitely not working as well as it used to so there is still like an issue with it but like at least like i could run the other games without it being in slow-mo although i think initially like the problem still was that it wasn't getting to the capture card and uh not uh the choppiness i think the choppiness is later actually but yeah, I don't know what's going on with the, the graphics card. It's weird though, like it gets like 40% and 70% on the uh, lesser games, but then nothing on the uh, more graphically demanding games. I find that really odd. It's like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it has to be just like it's, it overloads it, so then the graphics card is just like, no. But also, I did see the benchmark, and it said it actually gets like 30% out of it. It's weird. I don't know. I do notice also in like Tekken, when like it loads up the character select screen and stuff like that, like, it used to be like perfectly smooth, I think, and now it's like, yeah, it, it gets a little choppy trying to load in the, the characters. It's like, it's not as good as it once was. It's like... It would suck though if it broke, because I have a freaking, what was it, 3060? And like, the games require like a 2050 or something like that, like... If it broke that quickly, like that's, that's crazy. If something's like messed up with it, or like I have to replace it that quick, like that... That's crazy. I think also it's like several hundred dollars to like, get someone to just look at it. <laughs> Which is something I feel like is like pretty fixable. I'm sure it's something that's like not that hard of a change, but like I think it costs a couple hundred dollars. <laughs> so at a point just like replacing it would be cheaper. If it's just like something's damaged in it. Anyway. But yeah, it, it's annoying. What's annoying about it too is because like it wasn't that bad. It's just like I updated something like a game on Steam or something like that and then I started doing that. And we got rid of the antivirus, which is like definitely a part of it, but yeah, it still isn't fixed. Well, I guess to be fair, that's when like the choppiness started, because I have no idea when the like it's saying it's not pulling anything from the graphics card started. That could have been like a while ago. <laughs> so like, because I know when I first checked, I looked back at like Skywalker Saga, and I think it ran at like. 70% of the graphics card or something like that, 60. I think it was somewhere around there with the task manager. But I'm sure now if, uh, oh, I think I uninstalled it. But if I were to like open it up again, it'd probably just say zero. 
So yeah, I don't know. Mm. I think with Hitman, it also says there's no uh, part of the graphics card being used. Actually, I think it said like 20. Uh, no, I'm yawning. Yeah, I think that was actually at 20%. Phasma's at 40. Our world's at 70. Street Fighter 5's at 40. Like, it, it's weird. I think my brother said also when he opened up Civ, he got like 20 on the map. Um. So there's also that. Well, yeah, to be fair, I did try to open up a game that like was bigger. And like, it says like, Oh yeah, it, it, it crashes a lot and is like very unstable. <laughs> so like I think if I were to run like a normal Civ game, like yeah, it would, it would run fine. But <laughs> I just like the bigger ones, man. I don't like the small Civ games. It's unfortunate. I also never finish them. <laughs> I did have a stretch where I would finish out games, but now I, I, I don't. <laughs> I think it's just because like I like the building cities part <laughs> until I get bored and then I leave. <laughs> so yeah, that's my thing. Going again. God. Oh yeah, no, the last time I played Five Zone wasn't when the alert thing happened. I think that was actually like a while ago. I think that was when I did the like a hundred random uh freaking thing for some reason. Where I is it a random number generator? I think it was. Um I did that twice to choose or no I did it once for uh, what I would guess the ghost to be and then obviously it would be random every time. I put it obviously on max difficulty so I could get the highest multiplier if I did get it. Um, but yeah, I did that a hundred times for some reason. And then I literally played someone else's stream during the middle of it and I was like, you know what, I don't trust, like I don't <laughs> think that's allowed. And so I just cut that part out. So like half of it, I think like you don't even notice. Half of it's not even there. Cause it's like, I was like, oh, well this is probably boring. So then I just opened up someone else's stream who was playing the same game, you know? So like, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I could have just kept it going. I don't know why. Well, I guess it's cause I also was getting bored, <laughs> which was the issue. So I was like, oh yeah, I also want to watch that. Yeah, no, that was, that was dumb. That's the thing though, with a lot of those, like I didn't even like, uh, cause there's like older ones where I use actual people in them and like I, I just deleted them. I didn't even like private or anything. I just straight up deleted them. <laughs> um, I mean to be fair, like one of them literally had the last names and I'm like, huh, that's interesting. Um, well, cause the thing was is that, uh, I played on that safe hall before, like earlier and I had their like actual like names in it and then for the stream I was like oh I shouldn't like have their actual name in it so I like I think it was their last name I just took that out but apparently in the game for the award history it still remembers their old name <laughs> which I guess is kind of a neat touch like if it's like a Hakeem Olajuwon or something like that situation like you can do that and then it, it works so, like that's kind of neat but it was unfortunate that that's when I found I figured that out that it did that. <laughs> that was an unfortunate time. Because <laughs> I think if I knew that was going to happen, I would just start a new file with the, the names. Well, yeah, that was the thing too, because I think I only got through like one season. And then people left. And then, yeah, no. <laughs> then the whole point of it was like, it, it was done. God, now I'm yawning and burping. This, this sucks. I'm so incoherent now. God dang it. I just don't know how to stop them, man. They just don't. Yeah. 
Yeah, the thing I definitely will probably look forward to, like, if people actually start watching me, is, like... Because, obviously, I have the Soul Calibur characters, who I, and I've turned some of them into me's. So, like, it'd be so cool, actually, to see, like, fan art of those people. Like, obviously, have, like, Liam, too, but, like, I think also, like, all the other characters I made, that'd be really cool. Because it really actually see, like, those characters come alive. You know? God dang it, I'm yawning again, man. Why am I yawning so much? I thought freaking drinking water helps, but I guess freaking not, because I also like yawned immediately after drinking water. Yeah, because I think it said if you're in a warm area, you start yawning more. This is weird too, because like I'm not tired. <laughs> it's gotta just be that it's like a warm environment, so that's why like my body's yawning. Because also, I kind of got over, like, the eating big meal now. Because, I mean, also, like, I'm not, like, <laughs> moaning about it, you know? That also probably... That, that'd help. <laughs> but, yeah. I should go for an hour and a half, though. It's been 40 minutes, which I am kind of surprised about. I really didn't think I'd go this far. I think, honestly, I just thought this would be a nothing stream. Like, I had nothing to talk about, like at all but <laughs> here i am 40 minutes in i've been talking like pretty much the whole time so yeah especially since i started recording because the first four minutes was like nothing um but yeah i mean after that i've talked a decent amount i hate that they started the vibe with, well this probably isn't going to be an important stream to watch because <laughs> people will probably click off as soon as i said that that was a bad opening line to have yeah. Yeah, I've also done a lot of self-reflection, which I think some of it's been helpful, but I think most of it probably hasn't been. <laughs> Honestly. Well, I say self-reflection, but just thinking about stuff, like lost in my thoughts. Um, and like, yeah, I think a lot of times it's not great. And like, I think why it's so hard for me to sleep and like why all the bad thoughts come out when i'm sleeping is because i'm to myself you know i'm to my own thoughts it is weird though because it's like nightmare stuff like it's not even stuff like i would ever think during the day it's just like only stuff i think at night like someone close to me is going to die and i don't i hate that i keep thinking about that but like that's a commonly occurring thing for me it's just someone close to me is dying i don't know why i wish i could stop thinking about when i'm sleeping or like trying to sleep like because it's very annoying because <laughs> it always comes back to that man always well it's because i'm also like having serious topics in my head too and well i mean that's just in my thoughts just in general too that's what's going on but like so i think it is part of it but like for me, it's like my brain stops at the, the serious topics during the day, probably because I'm also like, I can do other stuff. So my mind's also thinking about those as this, at the same time. Whereas with sleeping, I pretty much just only have sleeping. So yeah, and I'm also probably like, actually not even that tired. So there's also that. Yelling again, great. Ugh. I swear I'm not that tired. Like, I'm actually not. I would say if I'm tired or not. Like, I feel tired. <laughs> like, maybe for me, though, like, I don't feel tired unless, like, I'm, like, super tired. <clears throat> you know? Maybe that's what it is. Like, maybe I actually am tired. It's just, like, to me, it's not what I think tiredness feels like. I don't know. Why is like when you have like the heavy eyes or stuff like that? That's when I'm like, you're tired. But like, yeah, that might not even be like. You're probably honestly like technically tired before that. <clears throat> like that one, you're probably like, you really need to sleep like right now. <laughs> if you if you have that going on, if you're sleepy, like you're probably more than just tired. <laughs> like maybe I am tired, but it, it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> It feels like I have a lot of, a decent amount of energy. I said a lot, but 
I think a decent amount is probably more accurate. Um, but yeah. I just know that, like, it. I know my serious topics. Just, like, people won't. Uh, a lot of people won't stick around for that. Which, I mean, I feel like it's fair. I just wish people would at least give it a chance, you know? Because, I mean, I'm sure when I was younger, I wasn't like that, but then I changed real quick on that. Um, but yeah, let me see something. Okay. Got it. Um, yeah, that, okay. I just want to check something real quick. But, yeah, I don't even remember what I was saying at this point. <laughs> <laughs> what was I saying? I don't know. This thing is, though, too, also is like, I don't know if people are gonna watch a PNG YouTuber that has like no interaction with it anyway. Because I think the thing with PNG YouTubers is like, they at least have like an interaction thing, like when they're actually speaking. Like they'll like bounce up or something like that, have like at least some animation to it. Mine doesn't. Mine is just stationary. And I have an orange and purple background. Like, I don't even have anything in the background, really. It's just this. It's just, I'm really bad at art. <laughs> and again, I don't have Photoshop. Because I feel like, honestly, the only time I would use Photoshop is for making this, like, my stream overlay. After that, like, I, I don't need it. <laughs> at least to me, I feel that way. Me, <laughs> yeah. I think the thing is also too, because I'm like, well, I think someone could probably just make it better than me. I, I'm trusting in someone else who's probably more skilled than me, <laughs> you know? Because obviously this is very bad. You can see that I didn't get a perfect outline. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Oh yeah, it's glaringly obvious. <laughs> oh man. That, that's real bad. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think I've also just been a lot of terror just because of how it is in America and like basically just be like, well, we're screwed. I mean, there's still hope, but there's a very, very small glimpse of hope. And it's getting smaller with every day. <laughs> Every passing day, it's getting smaller and smaller. Because I already made the Vegeta analogy, and it's just like, I feel like it's very fitting. And it's like, well, we can't really do anything now, can we? <laughs> you just have to watch. It, we, it's just some sort of torture where we just have to watch the slow demise of us. So, yeah, that's... that's awesome. It's, it's a shame, you know? Because I really think if we get past this, then, like, you'd see a lot of progressive legislation get passed, but... Or, like, at least, like, progressive candidates rise up in America, and it's just like, well... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> It doesn't seem like we'll have the chance, or like, it'll be like a decade until we do get the chance. It's just like, oh great. That's awesome, all because an old man who's probably not going to be on this earth, like, past his four years that he's serving anyway, like, just wants to keep running. Like, it, it doesn't even make any sense, dude. Like, but it's just an old man. It's just... Nothing we can do about it. <laughs> Just a stubborn old man. Because <sighs> I think what gets me the most about it is like my prime physical years are basically going to be swallowed up by this. Because even though I don't see him like lasting longer than a decade, because I think once Trump dies, like who are they rallying around? You know? Because that's the whole point of fascism, you know, rally around a strong leader. Obviously, they have Trump, but like, do they have anyone after Trump? I don't think they really do. So I think it would start to fall apart after that. But 
Yeah. Even though I don't see it going past a decade. Because I think, like, yeah, that's about the clock Trump has. So he takes horrible care of himself. Um, like, that's still my prime physical years, basically. Because it, it goes straight into my late teens and into my late 20s, basically. And I believe your prime is, like, 27, 28. <clears throat> so I'd basically be at my prime when it'd be over. So, yeah, that's great. I just don't get a physical prime like most other people did. You know, there are some things I'm glad I was born at the time I was. Um, for stuff like phones and like games, like video games, those are great. But then there's like stuff like this, man. It's just like, you're just born at like the worst time, huh? But I guess it's entirely based of what our generation is due, you know? That'll write the history for the next, like, maybe century. Maybe even further, further beyond. This is like the end of an era in history, you know? And we're just the people who have to write the next chapter, the next era of history. Who knows? Because it does seem like we are in more of a position to, like, influence more. Well, I don't know, because it's just freaking late-stage capitalism and the corporations influence, so I don't know. I think if you get politicians that aren't influenced by those people, then, like, you can, we can start making a difference, but... As of right now, absolutely not. <clears throat> it sucks. Although, I guess, technically, like, the Constitution and, like, the government, how it was set up, like, all of this was, it was gonna end up like this. Especially the whole, like, not having a constitutional convention every 20 years, like, it was gonna end up like this eventually. Listen to rare covers of your like, honestly, I think it's impressive that the Constitution lasted as long as it did. <laughs> you know? Without, like, something this catastrophic. Like, it's honestly impressive. I mean, I think it did almost happen several times. But... Yeah, no, you need to change that government. Like, that constitution. This is very outdated. It was freaking 1787, wasn't it? It's a little old. I think it hasn't been changed since the 90s, either. So, like, yeah, that, that'd be great. It was such an underwhelming change, too. Oh, you good. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I think also people wouldn't like me talking about serious stuff, because a lot of stuff I talk about is like kind of doom and gloom. But it's just like... I guess I want to inform people about like left-wing stuff and all this. Just so like, I never want this to happen again. I want to make it so people can live their lives without stressing and can just do whatever they want. Because I think if I lived in a stress-free world, I would have my full focus on this. But like, there's all this stuff in the background that like, I'm just stressed over and like, dread. And it's like, man, if I just didn't have to worry about that, like, I could just fully focus on this. I could learn like voice acting, like singing, Pretty, pretty easily. Although, again, I don't have the money for it. Which is another thing. Well, we probably do, but just like... Actually, my mom can't afford me an instrument or something like that. But it's like... Yeah, I mean, I guess I could watch like YouTube tutorials, but like even then, like my brain doesn't want to go out with... Out of its way to do it. It's very hard for my brain to do that. <laughs> Like, I'd have to be thinking about it for like a week straight before my brain's finally just like, okay, I'll do it. Well, I feel like it's especially hard too, because like if it's a YouTube tutorial, I'm gonna have to look it up on YouTube, but I'm probably just gonna be looking at freaking like videos like I'm actually interested in, like just by going through my recommended and all that. I like what also shows up just in like the recommended videos afterwards. Or like on the video itself. So like, I'm just gonna forget about it. 
and just consistently forget about it. And so, yeah, it just, it sucks. I just wish I could live in a world where I just wouldn't stress about stuff. Because now I'm also stressed about driving. And let me say, I hate it. I mean, even when I was doing it, like, back in, like, November, October, I also was, like, miserable doing it. <laughs> like, the whole time. The only reason we stopped is because I dislocated my collarbone. And then, I guess my dad was just waiting until he's... I told him that, like, I was willing to do it again. Or, like, I was good enough to do it again. Which, obviously, I hate driving, so I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, that is one thing. I'm probably gonna actually, like, ship hire a chauffeur. I just hate driving, dude. Like, like when I'm in a car, I'm, I'm fine, you know? Like, I'm very much okay with it. But, like, as soon as I'm in the driver's seat, like, I I hate it. I feel miserable. <laughs> it's just not enjoyable for me. Yeah. It sucks, you know? It's a shame is what it is. I've gone for 55 minutes just talking about stuff. I really didn't think I had that much to talk about, you know? Well, I think one topic was a repeat. Actually, I think a couple of those were repeats, but <clears throat> it's just what I do, you know? I just repeat stuff a lot. I have thought about, like, for YouTube, just like, if I said the same thing, just to space out like a month apart from each other. <laughs> you know? So like, the new people who are coming in, like they can hear it for the first time, but like, obviously it's just not me saying the same things over and over again, and then just uh, boring, like making everybody else bored. <laughs> so, yeah, same with like clips, I think too. It's like, am I really gonna clip the same stuff again and just put on the main channel again? I don't think so. Yoshi, yeah, I'm also my burst of putting stuff on the main channel again has stopped. I have those like three clips that I just put up on Twitch and like I still haven't <laughs> uploaded them. I think honestly it's because I keep forgetting. I'm like, oh yeah, I have those. But yeah, I probably should do something with those. <laughs> it's just kinda in my computer. Because I downloaded them with the intention of doing that, and I just completely forgot. Yeah, I also was on it. I've been on like a streak of just like forgetting to like upload the stream that I've just done. I don't think I've done with like the last two, but like there was one where it was like two of the last three or something like that. I just forgot to like upload the stream for some reason. Like, and I didn't notice until like the day after. It was like, oh shoot. <laughs> That's why the, those ones were uploaded like two days after the the stream. It's because of that. So yeah. Like, god dang it. Well, and also sometimes like... Because I think I've noticed if my computer goes into sleep mode, it will not upload the video. So I have to keep my computer on the entire time if I want to upload it. And so obviously sometimes if like... It's not up the entire time, like I have to like go back on it and then upload so like i think the tekken stream was not uploaded at 1 30 because it wasn't fully uploaded when i opened my computer so yeah then they had to like fully upload from there and it's like not even like a shutdown or anything like that it's just like if it goes in like sleep mode i think like it, it just won't work on it which is very annoying <laughs> so yeah there's there's also that I did see the the LA clip of uh, because I don't know why I'm well I know why I'm not watching the streams. It's just because uh, freaking I've said it many times, but the I think Twitch Mobile is like bad. I think I've used it a couple times and like it's not very good. Um, so there's why I don't use it on mobile. But and then also uh, I don't have dedicated headphones to my computer. 
how I typically listen to stuff on my computer. It's also why like I don't I point out why I'm not listening to music is I have to uh, turn off the Bluetooth on my phone and then activate the Bluetooth on my computer and use my earbuds that I would use on my phone to my computer. But the thing is, I'm watching YouTube clips on it and all that. So then my brain's like, no, I don't want to do that. And so I don't do it. Um, so yeah, that's why I haven't really been watching really any streams. I should be doing that. I need to make connections, dude. I've sat around just doing nothing for more than three years and obviously I've gotten nowhere. Like I need I need to start doing stuff, dude. Something's gotta change. Um and yeah, I think that is truly what like what you need to do is actually like talk to these people. Like be active in their chats and all that. Um and I've not been doing that. <laughs> and I do feel a little guilty about it too. Because I did the one raid to Ellie, and then I just... Because I think when I raid Ellie, I need to use the bathroom. So like, I watched her for like a little bit, and I was like, okay, I need to use the bathroom. And obviously, I was like, oh, I'm just going to use my phone, so I switched back over. Um, but I haven't watched any of her streams actually, like, live. Um, I guess I'm also just, like, kind of nervous of my mom just walking in or something like that. I just, like, also be kind of embarrassed about that. There's also just that going on, even though, like, I know full well my mom won't care. Um, like, I, I know from past experience my mom just does not care. Well, except that one time I was in, like, third grade, and they put a put the F word as, like, a subtitle on the screen, and my mom saw that, and then she wouldn't let me watch the rest of that video. That was annoying. I was really upset about that one. Cause like yeah, it was literally just because like the subtitles put on the screen, and then my mom just having to walk by like as, cause it was it was in a room that was in between like the living room and the laundry room. And so like I think when my mom just goes out to the laundry room and then, obviously gets a sniff and then goes she went into the living room and then did the laundry there. And so obviously when she was on one of the transitions, she saw that. <laughs> And again, I was super annoyed because it was literally just because it was on the screen. <laughs> and I think that was the only time they said the F word because it was a video about how someone was homeless. And then because uh, I think it was about Jamie Butler, how he started out homeless. And then obviously he's in the NBA now. And so I think they were just it was just a quote, too. So it was just a quote saying the F word. And then after that, there was no other like mention of it too so i think that also was why like i got upset about it too um it was just like that was the only instance of it so i was very annoyed about that but yeah i getting back to it i know I'm, at this point now especially like my mom does not care my mom swears around me all the time the only thing though is like she says like she wants me to not swear because like then it's, it gives it shock value <laughs> When you swear all the time, like, it doesn't give it shock value. <laughs> that's what my mom has told me. And so that's why, like, I shouldn't swear. Unless, like, I hurt myself. I think that's what he said. Like, if I stub a toe or something like that, I can say it. But yeah. <laughs> Other than that, my mom won't, like, let me swear. Even though I feel like my mom swears so much, like, it, there also is really isn't much shock value to when she swears, but, I mean, whatever. Life is full of hypocrisies. It, it's fine. Ugh. Like, I do think there is also, like, society also needs to kind of get under, like, get used to the fact that, like, some contradictions are good. <laughs> Like, it's fine to have some contradictions, I guess, is more what it should be. Not like that they're good, but like, so it's like fine to contradict yourself. Because, <laughs> like, you know, obviously your stance can be like one way and then like to like a certain aspect and then like another way to the other aspect that's just like kind of different. But like, you know, I feel like you still can like believe them and still be like hypocritical. And like it'd be fine. I'm not saying like the right wing hypocrisy. I'm talking more of just like other stuff, you know? Cause like 
there's a lot of exceptions like there's so many like minute things in life dude so like you're bound to like be hypocritical at one point you know i feel like it's just a matter of like if you'll accept the hypocrisy or not i feel like since like people take hip hypocrites like being hypocritical is like a negative connotation then like people are like oh i gotta change that but I mean, I feel like there's some things I'm hypocritical about, but like I accept it because <laughs> I believe everything like I say pretty much unless like obviously I'm like entertainer mode, you know, and I feel like it's going to be pretty obvious when I'm in that is when I'm like with other people who are also like in entertainer mode, <laughs> you know, or like I'm sure I'll have like a, a joke voice or something like that or like a sarcastic voice. So I feel like that also would be pretty easy to tell. I don't know. I don't know though, because it seems <laughs> now that like I'm listening to myself, I feel like I have like a monotone voice, honestly. Yeah. Like I mean, I think that I think autism can like part of it can be a monotone voice, I believe, right? And so part of like the like social skills thing it's just like you can have a monotone voice and like I, I think i have one i think my brother does too um yeah i think we both have the like monotone voice thing which yeah again it does suck especially when like you're someone who wants to talk about stuff like seriously because i've noticed like with because i had a teacher who had a monotone voice it was hard for me to pay attention to be fair it was also in the morning <laughs> So there, it could also have been that partially, but and also like I zoned out like the second half of the school year that probably also didn't help. But I think when I was actually trying to listen to him, it was really hard for me to like to like pay attention and stuff. But I think I also just zone out easily. So yeah, for me, it's really hard to stay like engaged in it. Unless obviously I care about like what's being discussed. If I don't, then like, yeah, I zone out very easily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was that going somewhere? I don't remember. <laughs> I really don't. I think... I don't think so. Yeah, I think it was just the monotone voice thing. I was just adding on after I finished the other thing, so I, I don't think there was anything going on with that. Yeah, it's been an hour and six minutes. Like, the thing is, I can yap if I have stuff to talk about. I, I can talk, you know? I can talk for a while. <laughs> like, it's an hour and six minutes, and, like, there really hasn't been much silent parts. I think I have brought up the, uh, <laughs> the time, how long it's been for, like, like, three separate occasions, but... Like, yeah. I can, I can talk if I have stuff to, to go with. It's why, like, honestly, I think I could go, like, a like a whole three-hour thing if uh, I had a chat and, like, people to bounce off of. Because they can add their own input, like, you know, and just kind of go back and forth. Like a conversation. Because, like, I, I have gone the full, like, hour and a half, like, actually, and uh, barely, like, missed a beat. So, like, if I can go an hour and a half by myself, like, imagine how long I could go with a chat, you know? Like, I could go a while. Why is there no music playing? I literally clicked on this. So it, oh, it got, kicked me out of my playlist. That's neat. I love it when it does that for some reason and it just kicks you out of the playlist. That's awesome. That's my favorite part. <laughs> okay, anyway. Yeah, just imagine uh, how long I could go if I actually did a chat. <laughs> but again, I need to take the steps necessary to actually... Uh, like, I need to be more active in the Twitch community. Actively talk to these people. <laughs> if I don't, like, yeah, I'm not getting anywhere. And, like, I do want to help smaller streamers, especially with how I saw with, like, because I think with just chatting, if you have less than 8, I think 8 was the lowest I saw as far as viewers. If you have less than 8, you have no chance of getting seen. Because it, it doesn't show up on the raid browser at all. So literally you have to like, 
go through the just chatting category and actively like scroll through it if you want to find someone who has less than that and like that that's terrible i'm sorry like i get there's a lot of channels on there but like come on i feel like at least every once in a while you should be given like some of those streams you know because I feel like it just sucks that they have no chance. It's why, like, me doing nothing for three years has got me here. Because you're just buried. And, like, like can I see how many, like, channels uh, streaming uh, Twitch? I spelled Twitch very wrong. Actually, I just added an extra I for some reason. Okay, that's live Twitch streams right now, I think. I'm gonna look up how many. Because <laughs> it, it just gave me the top streamers. Uh, how many? Uh, yeah, 121,536 right now. Can I look back to, like... When I started? Green is average. What is this? Is this viewers? Yeah, okay, this is viewers. I want to see, yeah, live channels. Oh, wait. Yeah, monthly broadcasters. Okay, so in 2021, it was actually higher. 2021 was I started. And it was actually a lot higher. I assume 2020 is just like a lot lower because of January and February. Those numbers are probably aligned with 2018, 2019, if I were to guess. Like, it does kind of suck, because, like, we are more in an era where, like, you have to either do something that makes you stand out, like, above everybody else. You know, just, like, kind of be exceptional at something. Or you just have to make connections with, like, a lot more popular of a creator. That's, like, pretty much the only way you can actually be successful in the content creation sphere at this point. And even, like, the first option is very rare. You know, it it's very hard. <laughs> and, like, yeah, I don't stand out in anything. I mean, like, look at my freaking stream overlay. It's terrible. <laughs> I still use the freaking generic, like, starting soon and ending soon screens. Like, it's awful. <laughs> like... Like, those are the cleanest things, and that's just because they were automatically generated. <laughs> and, like, I have a fade effect. Like, that's neat, I guess. But, like, yeah, nothing I do, like, stands out. I'm, like, mediocre at Tekken. But, like, even then I suck, because I don't freaking duck low or sidestep. So now I just get demolished. <laughs> like, yeah, I... I really need to build that muscle memory, dude. I really need to. I'm sure Tekken would be really fun once I actually learn my defense. <laughs> like, I still enjoy playing it, but like, yeah, I'm sure I would enjoy it a lot more if I could remember in my brain to like crouch, like block lows or like sidestep, you know? I think then I'd be having a lot of fun. <laughs> And, like, I'm sure Korean Backdash can also be a part of it, but, like, I'm sure that's, like, after defense, you know? I don't need a Korean Backdash. In fact, I think, like, most people I'm playing against aren't Korean Backdashing. Even, like, purple ranks, they're not doing that. So, like, I don't need to, like, really learn it right now. I just don't want to, because I literally saw the video, like, oh, it takes several hours practicing this, and it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, literally when I looked up the video, I was like, oh, this couldn't be that hard, surely, right? And then they said, take a few hours. And I was like, oh, never mind. I'm good. <laughs> At least for right now. Like, I'm, I'm good. I don't want to invest that much time into it. Into one technique, spending several hours on it. Like, I'm good. <laughs> I only want to do that if I absolutely, like, need to. It's absolutely necessary. Which, for my skill level, it's not. <laughs> So I'm just not going to worry about it right now. Like, I guess maybe that's, like, a bad mindset to have, but, like, I also just don't want to spend a couple hours just, like, doing that. 
I don't know. It just doesn't seem like that enjoyable to me. Maybe I'm wrong though. But yeah, I think spending a couple hours just learning a backdash, like that's not the most fun thing I could be doing. <laughs> There's so much other fun stuff I could be doing than learning how to backdash. It's slightly faster, like a second sec second faster, which I mean does matter, but like still. Hey, come on. Yeah, I did play another campaign of Hitman. I literally just made it, so I made the last one Miami again. Miami really is just like the easiest one to do on the like last mission. It really is just the easiest one. <clears throat> but yeah. What's your I think I've also gotten lucky like with the last few where like the first person I saw was like the actual person. It's so, like I've just gotten really lucky with that too. Um because like obviously the person's in like an area that's like very heavily contested like I did like that one time on stream where I just I think whacked the dude in public <laughs> and then like all the police were on me like yeah no that was terrible I don't know how I was supposed to win that <laughs> honestly like my best bet probably would have been getting something lethal and then chucking it at him from a distance and then maybe running away but even then that probably is a stretch <laughs> Because he was just in the middle of like everything and like was, so many of those people just like were like, oh, I recognize you Like that was the thing I also shot the dudes while on the camera or something like that and like it was real bad Like I played the bottom rub part really well where I like knocked out or like eliminated all the dudes down there, but like Yeah, I th actually I think I knocked out those two guys with the wrench, but still killed them anyway Cause I'm like, I, I don't want to deal with this. And then I lost. Cause I forgot with the freaking Hitman games, it's really like 50 guards on the map, dude. So like, they just keep coming. And like, you have like, no chance to freaking survive, dude. Like, you're just freaking cornered. The thing is like, I didn't have like a good cover, like them coming at, at me one by one. Cause there was two doors that could come through. And also my cover, I think they could shoot through it. So like, yeah, it was, it was not great. Like if it was the one thing where like I was hiding behind like a door or something like that, and they came in one by one, so like I could just shoot them in the head. Like yeah, that that would have been fine, you know. I would survive just all right. But there was two doors, and I was behind something that I had to crouch. And I think even then, like they could hit me. <laughs> So yeah, I was pretty much screwed. Like, I feel like that's just the case in Hitman. If you just get in those situations, you're done. <laughs> like, I don't know how much more of those guys would have been left, but... Yeah, no, it was not enjoyable. And the thing is, too, like, I feel like also, like, the, like, border dudes also would have come over. Because obviously I did it in front of a crowd of people, so they also would just ran and told other people. Or like, they're freaking out would have alerted other people. So, yeah, there's also that. <laughs> yeah, I almost done my water though, but just drinking it all. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I guess that's how it works. If I'm almost done my water by drinking it all, that that's just how that works. <laughs> Makes sense, you know. God, it doesn't feel like a Friday, honestly. It's weird too, because it's like the one time in the summer I've actually felt like that, because like, honestly during the summer, it's like, yeah, sure. It's that day of the week, sure. But like, this is like the first day, I'm like, this does not feel like a Friday. <laughs> I'm sure I'll have many of those days during the school year, because those happen a lot. And it's also typically when like the day or two before didn't feel like, or the day or two before felt like Friday. So then the Friday doesn't feel like Friday. Because I've learned that that's how that works too. <laughs> if you think like the Wednesday or Thursday felt like a Friday, then like, yeah, no, that the Friday won't feel like a Friday. <laughs> that's just how it works. I think honestly for the school year though, I'm just going to see if someone can just like drive me. 
to like school and back. I don't know about the back part, but like the two school I can figure out pretty easily. The like, the like back to my house is like the hard part. <laughs> Because, like, it's not too far out of the way, but, like, it technically is out of the way for a lot of people. Um. Like, yeah. I also have social anxiety, so, like, it probably wouldn't... <laughs> it probably wouldn't work out, unfortunately. There's also that. It's just I hate driving so much, dude. <laughs> I just feel miserable, like, trying to drive. It's not an enjoyable experience. I think it's like with the racing games, it's like, yay, look at this. It's racing game. Wow. Woo. And then with the car, it's like, oh, God, there's a lot of stakes to this because I could die if I don't drive properly. <laughs> or if someone else doesn't drive properly, it doesn't even have to be me. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, great. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, the thing is also, I think for my like hatred of it too, is like, I didn't even have interest in driving anyway. I'm forced to. <laughs> Which is so great when, you know, transportation has gotten to this point where you're, you're forced to do that just to get anywhere. That's awesome. It's, it's fantastic. I love that. See, I just, I just live in a rural area. There's not... Anything I can do, man. I just literally have to drive if I want to go anywhere, which is stupid. Transportation should not have taken us here. I hate it. I'm not having fun. God, help me. I hate it here. I'm probably gonna go longer for an hour and a half. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think I want to start up a Civ game. <laughs> you know, that'd probably be a bad idea. Tekken is just gonna make me mad. I, that's the thing, though, too, I've also learned Tekken. Like, I need to just get better mental. Because, like, yeah, as soon as, like, I, I start getting upset, like, I lose. And, like, I don't think I really realize it, but, like, yeah, I think that's the thing. If I just don't lose my nerve. Because I think, like, my brain is just kind of, like, already out of it. I think that's why, like, the last, like, 40 minutes of my... Of the Tekken stream, like, I just kept losing. It was because I was just upset the whole time. Like, for the most part. So, obviously, like, if I'm going to play annoyed, then, like, I'm going to do poorly. Like, that's just how it works. And obviously I won basically every match in the first 40 minutes because I had good mental. I was I was doing pretty good. I wasn't getting upset, you know, because I won the previous games. But I just need to make it so like even if I lose a game, just like have it not affect me. That's the thing. So yeah. I just don't know if I'm ever going to be a Brian, man. <laughs> that character is dumb. Well, so I, th I think it... Because I said it during the tank stream, but I think it's just because, like, he makes me mad every time I get hit by him. Like, I I'm just mad. <laughs> so, like, I've already lost the mental battle. So then, yeah, I just play worse. Because <laughs> I'm already mad about it. <laughs> But yeah, it, it's real hard. And also, I'm pretty sure every time I went for like up one plus two, like he literally hit me out of it every time. I probably should stop going for that move. Just I really like doing that. But yeah, I didn't get like nearly as punished as I probably should have. Uh, when I was using it the last stream though, because I think I barely like even like when I used the like not heat one, I didn't get punished like at all. <laughs> even though I think it's like minus twenty. Like it is the most unsafe thing. <laughs> it is very bad to do. It's basically just like a hard read move. I think like maybe if you notice they're going for like a sweeping low or something like that, you can just do that as a punish. 
like yeah i think even if they would go just for like a normal low like they'll they'd be able to recover in time just to block it so then like yeah now you you're stuck at a minus 20 <laughs> you know so they get like basically whatever they want i think they do get literally whatever they want actually I doubt there's like many moves except for like the unblockables that <laughs> take longer than 20 frames And sweeping lows. Yeah, I think sweeping lows and uh, Unblockables are like the only ones that are slower. <laughs> I think everything else is faster Really quick enough at least hmm. See so, yeah, that that's another thing Yeah I think I need to learn spacing though too. It's another thing. My spacing's real bad. <laughs> There's just like a lot I need to learn still. Yeah, I will say like the whole like practice, like, oh, you'll still get better with that, like each practice and all that. But, like, I feel like there are definitely points where like you learn faster because you learn like a certain technique or something like that. At least when it comes to some things where like you need to learn certain techniques. So then it's like once you learn that technique, it's like obviously you get better at it quicker. Like that. That's how I feel about it anyway. Because I, I, I mean, maybe people like who are saying that like definitely understand that too. Like, you know, um, if you get to those points, like there, there are there's going to be points like that you are going to go through it faster. But yeah. Cause it would be fair like whenever i get hit by something i and it's like, going back to the mental thing like i just get mad at it but like i don't actually like keep it in my brain so like if i can't rage art something like i just complain about that but like i don't <laughs> keep it in my mind it's like oh you can't rage art that like that should what i should be doing is being like oh okay i learned that now but i just complain and so i don't i don't remember it at all which is like not great to help me get better at the game it's not a great mindset. But yeah. I don't know what game I want to play. I'm actually having the problem. Maybe that's what it is. I'm having the problem of I want too. And there's too many games I want to play. So now, like, I'm just like, yeah, I'll do nothing then. <laughs> no, I think the other ones were actually like I just didn't want to. I think this is like the first time actually where it's like, I there's too many things I want to do now. <laughs> to uh not do that yeah i will say i still think the like having like the gear and like hammer as like a part of the background was like really funny it's just like it doesn't look good it, it just doesn't you know if my background looked different then like i, I probably would do it like if it wasn't just solid orange solid purple one of the thing is also, I think it's like a different shade of purple and a different shade of orange too compared to the background, so that's why it also just looks bad. But yeah, it's why I didn't put it in because it just looks bad. I wish I did have like an actual background though too. It's just like I don't know what to do with it. I can't draw, and like I don't have like Photoshop or anything. I mean, this is my last attempt at a free Photoshop job with freaking Liam. Um, and I, I didn't even like do it that good. So it's like, and I mean, this is my freaking be right back screen, right? Like this is very poorly made. So like, yeah, <laughs> there's like nothing I can really do about that. <laughs> Well, th there is something, but I don't know. I feel like it's one of those things where I care about it, but I don't care about it enough to change it. <laughs> like to actively like go out and find a solution, like actively change it. <laughs> I'm just still like kind of mad about it, <laughs> like whatever. But yeah. <laughs> Cause here's the thing: this PG tuber is free. And I think to actually have a VTuber model is like a couple couple thousand dollars, which I do not have. I wish I had it, but I sure don't. 
It's really unfortunate. That's the thing too, is like, well I already have this design, but like, I have to have someone like, make the art for it, and also the rigging. Which, I think, typically, it is the same person, but... Yeah, it, it just costs a lot. <laughs> it, it costs very much a lot. Oh, that was a that was a big old burp. <laughs> I did not enjoy that. No. Oh. Yeah, it was funny though, cause I was thinking to myself like today I was like, oh yeah, I'll watch like the collab that Ali like in like server and Gummy are gonna do, and then I was like, wait a minute, I think I got the the time wrong. <laughs> Those look like and like seeing them that stream I was like, wait, are they gonna be doing this while I'm? <laughs> while I'm streaming, which I think like the half hour before they were doing it, but like obviously I went to eat. So like, I didn't really get to catch it. But yeah, it was just funny, I was like, wait a minute. I don't even know if I'll be able to like, show up. Before I, I start streaming. Because like, yeah, that was my plan. I was gonna like, watch the stream. And then... <laughs> yeah, and then the realization hit. Cause like I saw a clip of them setting it up, I just couldn't remember like what the time was that they said. Cause again, I just watch clips, I don't watch actual streams. Which again, I, I probably should. Like almost certainly. Like even on like the YouTube stuff too, cause like it has my- if I go under my main channel, like that also would be like kind of big too. Cause then they'd be like, oh he streams. <laughs> Like, even if I watched, like, Hollow Live members or something like that, too. And just, like, was active in there as well. Like, that, that'd also be kind of big. It's just... Yeah, I, I... I need to be more active. I can't just watch clips, dude. Like, the clips are, like, fun and all. Because, like, it can be like, oh, you may have missed this. But I, I need to, like, watch this stuff live, man. I need to... I need to do something. Something's gotta change, dude. I feel like I've said that a lot throughout like me streaming like the past year but like something has to change it's like kind of dire what's well, not super dire you know and like that's honestly probably like overly dramatic by framing it that way but i think it's just me being sick of like over three years of like not having a chat or like anybody watching me at all that like i I just want some people watching me and like having at least somewhat of a chat, you know? So like my, uh, I'm just like, I, I, I want this. <laughs> I want to do this. Um, I'm ready for something new. Um, that was a notification. <laughs> I was very confused with what that was for a second. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> As a notification for some awesome following going live. <laughs> Got it. Um, but yeah. I, I just need to be active. Ugh. Like, the thing is, I have. The thing I have a surplus of is time for, like, these next, like, month and a half. I. The thing I have a surplus in is time. I need to capitalize on it. I feel like I'm wasting it. <laughs> I need to stop wasting it, you know? I need to use it to its fullest, because then... Like, it may not give me it, but like, it can increase my odds, you know? Because <clears throat> at the end of the day, I feel like it's still a little bit luck. It's luck in like, getting noticed that first time and then capitalizing on it. You know? Like, that's the luck aspect, is getting noticed the first time, but like... Then, like, truly, if you can stay around, if you can capitalize off of that and keep it. That's the thing. And I think I did have, like, a a chance at it, like, on YouTube for, like, maybe being, like, a little popular. But I, I, I biffed it. Because <laughs> it was, like, a Wii Party video that had, like, 500 views or something like that. And then I think I did a Mario and Sonic video after that. And, yeah, that basically crushed all moment in my head. <laughs> It was, it was not great. <laughs> I made a mistake. It was real bad. Um, 
I'm thinking as though I just don't like editing. <laughs> it's why like I for the main channel stuff I only made them like a few minutes and also like unedited for the most part. I think there was one like I cut out like a section in it, but that was that was it. All the rest of them were unedited and like not even had subtitles on them or anything. I just don't enjoy that. And that's another thing, like maybe if I get a chat, like someone can do like the clips with like the good editing, you know? There's also that. <laughs> Um, and that would also help me like have a further reach Because that's the thing also with the clips and like I feel like maybe some of the clip channels know that but like they are actually helping out the person that they're clipping, you know Because it is reaching more and more people I'm pretty sure I wouldn't like have seen Hololive if I didn't see their clips or VTubers in general Because that's how I'm I've like got into the sphere in the first place is through clips. I don't think I've actually watched a single VTuber stream. Yeah, no. Because I haven't even watched like a Tom stream. Let's see, he's been a VTuber, I don't believe. Because he made the change of like the edited main channel stuff and then the stuff on the VODs. Actually, no, I think I have. Well, those were like sections. I don't think they were entire streams because I watched like codename stuff because those ones usually didn't show up on his main channel. Um, so yeah, I think with that stuff, freaking shoot. <laughs> uh, with those ones I saw, but it wasn't full streams. It was just that section. Because yeah, the Among Us stuff usually gets edited and put on the main channel, but not the code names. Or potentially whatever they were playing before that. I'm yawning again. God dang it. Man. I just don't want to yawn. <laughs> it sucks. Kinda if I'm like I'm gonna burp. There it is. Ugh. Like I want a multi-stream too, but like I have to get the subscription streamlabs too, which I don't know how much that costs is actually. How much does that cost? Is it twenty dollars a month, dude? Why is it like, or well, like three dollars cheaper than Photoshop? I mean, I think I would get more out of that one to be fair than the Photoshop, but still, like, come on, man. Oh, uh, my mouse is buried by the freaking headphones. Hang on. There we go. Now it's more free. Ugh. I hate it. Yeah, I have gone for an hour and a half just basically not talking. See, I, I told you, I've, I've done it before, you know? Like, I've just been talking. I think it's also, like, this is what's adding on to me wanting to have a chat. It's because, like, I can do this on my own. But, like, if I had people to bounce off of, dude, like, that'd be so nice. You know? Having people that actually would, like, care about what I'm talking about. Instead of just like talking to the void. I mean, the thing is like, I feel like I'm having great practice for just like, well, to be fair, I technically did start out on YouTube uh, under uh, Barry Dingus and I made YouTube videos at first, but again, I got tired of editing. I didn't enjoy doing editing. Um, mostly because like I didn't insert stuff. I just did like cutting and stuff and like I made myself these like deadlines and like, yeah. I think the deadlines are what screwed me over at like the first part as to why I didn't like editing. I think if I actually made it so like I didn't have a deadline and I could just work on the video and just add what I wanted into it and kind of just like learned it, I think I probably would have enjoyed it more. But I think like honestly that first time I got burned out, it was just like ruined me now <laughs> for like any time I want to edit. I don't think I fully recovered from being burned out that first time when it comes to video editing. <laughs> So yeah. I mean, another thing with actually having a chat too is like they could just clip stuff as the stream's going on and it actually be in the right category. <laughs> There's also that, which would be nice. Because that doesn't happen when you go back and clip stuff. You have to literally go change the stream category probably, I would assume, and then clip it. <laughs> go back and clip it. 
which I guess if you have that certain segment at like two minutes, it's like whatever. But like, if it's like mostly talking, and then you just have to switch it for a little bit, and then switch it right back, like, it's very annoying. <laughs> Especially when, like, it keeps track of, like, when the, the the stream was at a certain game. Like, I think that's the most aggravating part about it. Is, like, if it just, like, showed it as, like, just that the entire time, it's like, sure. I'd understand it, at least. But, like, it literally has the chapters thing. So I don't understand why it doesn't work like that. Really stupid. I hate it. Me no enjoy. Yeah. I've been doing pretty well though. You know, we've had a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> Cause I got real dark. You know, I weren't that I think that's just how my brain works though, you know. <laughs> it's just like talking about myself, you know, talking about like people I enjoy and like like what I watch and all that. And then we get serious and then like it takes a big de like a it goes into a valley. <laughs> And then like it goes back up and we go back and talk about like what I'm interested in and all that. Well, or also just like still talking about like, oh, how is like, how does this work from my observations, you know, as well. Just how stuff works. That's another thing. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's just how my brain works. I think honestly just how the stream is gone as like a roller coaster of emotions. It's just how my brain works. You know, I really think so. I think my issue, like, also with what I said, with this is something different um, and unrelated, but like the thing going back to like what I said with like the Ellie stuff that I felt kind of awkward with is like I don't want to just like I think I'm stalling because I just don't want to rate her again because <laughs> like I haven't been in her chat at all, so I feel like it's just kind of it would feel kind of scummy of me just to be like, yep, Raiden again. It's just like not saying anything again. Like, I, to me, it just feels scummy. Like, maybe it wouldn't matter, but I'm pretty sure me and Ellie both suck at social situations. From what I can tell from Ellie's stuff and the freaking dating thing. I don't even think I actually went into that. I think I said so I just saw it and didn't go any deeper into it. Because actually, yeah, this would brought this up then. But like, yeah, me and Ellie both are real bad. It's like, I think we both, well, she says she's not socially anxious. I think it's because she says, like, yeah, you just expect this. I feel like I still am, though, because, like, I haven't... I haven't done it enough, you know, to be like, oh, well, this is to be expected. So I think I'm still socially anxious. Yeah, I think Ellie said she's not socially anxious just because, like, oh, well, you should expect this to happen. I think that's what she said. Something along those lines. But, like, yeah, we're both just socially awkward. <laughs> I guess it's probably the best way to put it then. In like a... In like terms that both of us would probably agree on. We're both just like super socially awkward. So like... Yeah, it would... It would be real weird. And also she has a collab going on right now, so... I'd, I feel like it'd also be weird to just be like... Talking about all that when she has all of that going on. Uh Overthinking social situations, man, you gotta love it. Gotta love it. It's so much fun. Especially when you want to, like, actually make friends with people and, like, talk to people. And then this is just how your brain works when it comes to social situations. I will say, like, last year, my junior year, one of my goals was, like, Oh, I want to be, like, friends with more people. And then I didn't do it. <laughs> I became, like, acquaintances, probably, with a few people. But, like, that was it. I didn't really make any new friends, <laughs> you know? Like, I, I think I, the closest I got was just acquaintances. But like, yeah, <laughs> it, it did not happen. Mm. I feel like I might have said on that one video too about me talking to girls. Like that was my goal for my junior senior year. No, I think that hit me like right as the junior senior year started. Cause I think then like, my brain had the realization it was like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna like see a lot of these people like in like two years. <laughs> like after two years. 
And like, there's some people I'd want to like talk to and like still talk to them. Because <laughs> they seem like cool. Like cool people to talk to. And so I think that's when it started. But like, I, I never acted on it. <laughs> so again, social anxiety. Like... I literally had to be like acquaintances with one person and then like sit there for like two hours to even have the courage to be like, okay, I'm gonna do this. And then I did because I walked to another group of people that they talked to. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna wait until they come back. And then my friend showed up and was like, God dang it. <laughs> so I didn't do it. <laughs> so yeah, that there was also that. It, it's real bad. It's real bad, man. Real bad. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It is weird too, cause like I feel like I was like in elementary school. I was just the person like would just get along with everyone. It's so weird. Like it just hit me like so hard in middle school. Dude. Like once I got a sixth grade, it just hit me like a truck, dude. And just like I became super socially awkward, and I I just don't know what happened. I, I don't know if like social anxiety like or like socially being socially awkward builds that way <clears throat> well like I can point that way of like when I started getting crushes on people was middle school and like sixth grade that's when I can point to that well it might have been like very end of fifth grade or something like that but like it, it mainly was sixth grade um so like I think that might have helped contribute to it was I just started developing crushes on people. And so then that's when the social anxiety just came out. Because like in elementary school, I didn't care. <laughs> well, I think it's also because in my mind, it was like, oh yeah, we should like, you should be like dating. I don't know why, where I got that from. Because I'm pretty sure it's mostly high school you started dating. So don't ask me where I got it, where middle school you started. Nah, I don't know, man. <laughs> and it was it was real weird. That might have also been one of the social awkward. I don't know. I mean, I, this is also coming from a person who I think when the like oh what is the age like average age of like someone's first kiss and I said like sixteen or something like that and then others were like twelve or thirteen. I was like yeah okay I should probably uh take my leave now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and my I was like, oh yeah, like sixteen, and I said like twelve or thirteen. I was like, okay, <laughs> never mind. Oh, to be fair, I think they also grew up in a different era. I think honestly, like for our our generation, it is probably like getting older when you're having your first kiss at this point. Because I feel like a lot of those were like spin the bottle type stuff too, probably. I don't know. It's still like twelve or thirteen year olds. I don't know. If 12 or 13 year olds would play spin the ball, I don't know. But I still think it was probably stuff like that. Or maybe, like, actually, yeah, people did date in middle school more often back then. Because 12, 13, I believe, would be middle school. Or would that be, like, 4th, 5th grade? I think that'd be 4th to 5th grade, actually. So never mind. It wouldn't even be middle school. It'd be late elementary. Um, but yeah. Or like, I guess maybe technically mid elementary if for the people who have a sixth grade considered elementary. But yeah, it was weird. It's also thinking about that made me lose my entire train of thought. I lose my train of thought way too much, dude. But again, I think that's just how my brain works. I hate it. But I mean, it's just how it how it happens. I don't know if I could have like medication that would like help with that, my scatterbrainedness, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. Dude, I've been going for almost two hours just talking straight. My god. I can talk for so long. Two hours straight. Nobody watching. I'm crazy. <laughs> Man. I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of people who can talk for this long by themselves. I was actually thinking, like, to, to be fair, I was thinking about when uh, my friend wanted to uh, 
stop doing the podcast to just like can continue to do it but just have it like just be by myself so it was just a solo podcast which i think technically if you look back at at the podcast i think one of the episodes is just me um but yeah i seeing this now man i i probably could have i would have probably still needed to do it like the every other week thing just so i had stuff to talk about and i also probably would like have to have it so i had like no other just chatting areas but yeah i can do it man i think that's why like i've been talking for so long man it's because i think i really haven't had any just chatting sections the past few streams i've honestly just kind of gotten straight into the game so it has opened up like time for me to talk and like maybe also like give me that itch to talk about stuff that i didn't get the the times prior you know when i just jump straight into it i am surprised though i guess i've been spacing this out enough to uh actually make it so it never asks if uh it wants to keep going on the youtube thing that's another thing that's kind of impressive the only time it actually stopped is because it kicked me out of the playlist for some reason i hate it when it does that I don't know if it's just like it doesn't load the playlist or something, but like, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it hasn't hit me with that at all. And like, usually it does hit me with it once. And the fact that it hasn't in two hours, like, that's kind of impressive. <laughs> for my standards, anyway. I am impressed with myself on that. I don't know why, like, the desktop audio all of a sudden got so much louder, though. It's like, I swear I can play at like 17, 18, and like it's playing at like the same volume it's showing here. Like now I'm at minus 26. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I really don't. I don't know if it was related to the graphics card, but I doubt it. I highly doubt it. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know what happened. I'm just hoping it's like not super loud. It doesn't seem like it is, but I'm just worried like it is just looking back at it. That is also the downside of some of my bots. Just like some of them are just like super loud. Like I think like the Stone Cold Steve Austin plays board game island one was one of those streams. Or no, I think it was because of that stream. I made the next few like of me being super loud after that. Um, and I didn't go back in and adjust them because I didn't realize how loud I was being until I watched it back. Which again is another good thing of like another reason why having a chat would be good. Because if someone was there, then they could have just corrected me then. But I think I went for like three or four more streams after that before I noticed it. I was like, Jesus, that's loud. I need to turn that down. Because <laughs> like I have the voice mixer, but I still have no idea how loud I am, you know? I don't listen back to myself because I don't like doing it because like I technically can on this mic. I just don't want to. <laughs> it's the thing. I don't like hearing my voice. I have also said many times before, I don't know if I even sound good under the mic. Because I swear people use the same mic as me and sound better. <laughs> but it could be soundproofing panels too. I don't have any soundproofing in here. Which actually we do have the panels. I don't know why we actually haven't set it up in my room. <laughs> We have some of the panels made. I think about it. <laughs> and like we my mom even asked like where I wanted them to be and I told her. So yeah, I don't know why we actually haven't put them in. <laughs> I feel like maybe we forgot. <laughs> I think both of us forgot about that honestly. It would also be good though, because like I think there are times when like my mom mows my lawn my lawn <laughs> mows our lawn. Um and it picks up on the mic and all that too. So like if it can also negate that, that'd be nice. <laughs> that that also would be really nice. At least a little bit. Same with the laundry room. Because the laundry room is literally like a wall away from me. Like it's left of my uh, computer setup. It's the wall like over there. So like it, I can hear the washer and dryer when they're going. So yeah, it's another thing. And I think it could get picked up every once in a while. I don't know if it can get picked up, like, now. Well, I mean, I don't think I've changed my mic settings, so probably. Like, every once in a while, but... I think it is a rarer occasion for the laundry room to, like, make noises on my stream. Even though, even then, I think it's, like, kind of still, like, quiet enough, like... 
you probably won't even really notice it if I have like music on or something like that. Like I do now. And I'm not saying that as like to cover like, oh, the laundry room's on or anything like that. It's not. <laughs> I'm just saying like as an observation, because I've noticed like sometimes like even though like I have a noise gate on, like it seems like it picks up a sound that's like quieter than like the noise gate should be getting. That's another thing, too, is like I think my noise gate actually isn't that great because I'm pretty sure you can hear me click on my mouse and I don't think you should be able to. But like I feel like if I set it any higher than like because I lean back in my chair a lot and talk then, which you probably can notice when I do it, but like I do it a lot. So like then it just wouldn't pick up like half the things I'm saying. And like, I think that was an issue I had in some of the streams, which is why like it's a lot more lenient than it probably should be. It basically is like making sure it captures no like air and that's good because <laughs> I'm sure you can probably still very clearly hear my keyboard or like my uh, my mouse when like I'm using them because <laughs> the noise gate is pretty lenient. It's just yeah, it's basically just because when I lean back because I can't move my mic up because it it is like I have to plug it in. It can't be wireless, so. And this is the furthest I can move it. Like, the closest I can move it to, to me. And I'm, like, leaned in at this point, but, like... Yeah, it's the furthest I can move it, and you still be able to hear me. Maybe I get, like, one of those clip-on mics. <laughs> that would probably be, like, the best for me, honestly. I don't know. Actually, I don't know how that would sound, like, if I actually do lean back. I don't know. I'm sure if I noise gated it like well, well enough, it could work. But yeah, that is something too. Like I've always like wanted to perform like singing and stuff like that too, and like concerts and stuff. But like I know like if I were to do like a concert, I need like the the clip on mic or like holding a mic. Like I can't do it like where it's just like standing or something like that. There's no way. If it's like a dynamic mic that's just like on a stand mic stand or something like that, like I. There's no way I'm going to be doing that well, you know, that's always like when I'm like thinking about like performing, I'm like I need either the clip on mic or like holding the dynamic microphone. <laughs> Otherwise, you are not going to hear me, at least like super clearly. So I bounce around all the like a bunch when it comes to music. So, yeah, I found my new fidget. <laughs> it's just on my desk. It's just I think it's like a, a DS game holder and it literally has a, like two slots, but I don't think it is actually. I don't think it is a DS game holder. I don't know what this is. I really don't. <laughs> it's just on my desk for some reason. <laughs> yeah, it just opens and closes and I'm, I'm messing around with it. I don't know why, but this randomly made me think like I need to work on my finger strength. I feel like my arm strength isn't terrible, but like my finger strength is really bad. <laughs> my fingers can't hold up something for like any time at all. Like my fingers start hurting immediately. I'm like I need to work on that. I need to figure out like finger exercises, like finger strength exercises. I need to learn them. Um, I think I am getting more flexible though too. Cause I've just been like doing like the like 10 second stretch thing like every day. Pretty much and like yeah I, I feel like i'm already noticing progress <laughs> to be fair i was doing that uh last year i don't remember when i actually started like going the exercise bike and everything i'm not sure if it was like i don't think it was the whole summer but i definitely did start doing it at some point i just don't remember when i started doing it but yeah it, it definitely was last year i started doing it Last year was so nice for summer because like, yeah, my mom would just come home and make me stuff because now I actually have to like worry about what I'm making for lunch this summer. Um, except the last two days, I guess, because my mom had enough hours so she could have a lunch. Um, but yeah, I guess like if everything goes according to plan, I have to do it three days a week, but otherwise I have to do all of them and it's real hard, especially when like you don't really want to cook something <laughs> and so then you just basically forget to eat and stuff like that because I go through that 
and it's not great. Yeah, I definitely just have periods where it's like, I just forget to eat, and then it's like two, and it's like, oh god. Well, it's not like two, but like, I wake up at 10.30, right? And so, maybe even like later, and then I just wake up. And then obviously, like, I want to have time to wake up, you know? But then, like, it's like an hour has passed, so then it's like 11.30. And then, like, the only thing I know how to make is, like, burgers. And those have to, like, thaw for, like, an hour for them to cook faster. And so, like, I, and by that point, I have to, like, basically really have to force myself to do it then to eat at a decent time. So then I'll eat at 12.30. Like, I guess one isn't that bad of a time to eat, but yeah, it's... I think the thing is, like, I want to work, like exercise bike or like work out by the time it hits two or something like that i think i did actually work out at two like not that long ago but yeah it that's typically like how i want my schedule to be you know and so i it it just works out that way but yeah i definitely want to help out Again, with my brain going other places, I definitely want to help out uh, other people though. With who like are still like the like not even like the people who have like like 10, 15, 20 viewers. Like not even like really those people. It's like the people who have like zero. Which I guess it can like be a lot if it hits someone. <laughs> and I I feel like at this point, if I do get popular, like that's gonna happen to me. <laughs> so maybe I'll. Experience it firsthand. Who knows? Maybe I'll know how it feels and whether that, whether or not it's a good idea or not. I don't know. But yeah, it, it's something I definitely want to do. Just like help those people out, because I I just did not realize how bad it was, man. <laughs> like, because a lot of those people are just buried and just chatting. Like, you can just be going scrolling forever, dude. Like, I think just Chang is probably the one who has, that has the most channels. I wish you could see, like, how many channels are, uh, like, stream in a certain category. I feel like that used to be a thing. Like, I don't know. I feel like that used to be a thing, though, where, like, they'd tell you how many channels are streaming at. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just, like, confusing, like, the, like, how many people follow the category with, uh, how many, like, channels are streaming at. I thought that was something they told you at some point I mean I'm sure there's like a website that tells you like what like the stream like twitch tracker yeah twitch track let me look at so let me just look at games oh no it just said no does it just say viewers oh no it does say channels about oh, Fortnite has the most channels <laughs> okay that that was not what I was expecting <laughs> was not expecting Fortnite. Yeah, I feel like Dead by Daylight just got like super popular like recently, right? Same with like Siege, because I feel like even when I was playing Siege, it wasn't like super, super popular. When was Siege's like, I, can I, I'm just gonna go to Steam Tracker and uh, look up Siege. Just cause like, I wanna see the uh, Okay, it just got me out of the search bar. I just want to see when uh, it was at its peak. All time. Oh, it was like. I oh, know it has been getting less, hasn't it? Oh, except for like February of this year. That's when it hit its peak. What happened then? What happened then? That's when Deimos came out, right? But like, that was it? <laughs> it was like February 2021. I guess like, yeah, the year, the new years is when. It's weird though, cause like, yeah, February 2021, which that would've been the start of year six, right? Yeah, cause year five was 2020, right? So that would've been the start of year six. Yeah. So for some reason the start of year six and then the start of a uh, this current year 
and like huge jumps and then yeah the start of a uh, year five as well i mean to be fair this is just steam this isn't like this isn't all consoles but yeah i guess it it's honestly like not as popular as it is now yeah or as it was yeah that's that's crazy because yeah, it was really like yeah it was like february 2018 to like uh march 2021 seems like that was like siege's peak when was his most popular huh yeah that's that's interesting i don't know why but to me it just seems like siege is much more popular now maybe on twitch like with people streaming that maybe that's what it is it's just people streaming it is more okay people streaming it is more uh likely um i don't know actually there's the month thing here actually it's kind of like the same amount hasn't it well, except for like yeah the start of this year Yeah, actually, I think it's been like around the same. It's weird. I don't know why. It just feels like it happened much later. I don't know. I like how it shows Call of Duty with Call of Duty 1. I assume that's just generic Call of Duty. <laughs> so I don't think there'd be 2.3 thousand channels playing the original Call of Duty. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong, but... I feel like that's probably a no. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe call me crazy. And I just don't think that's true. Yeah, it is crazy, like, how much, like, League and, like, GTA 5 have just, like, Minecraft being up here makes sense. But, like, League and, like, GTA 5 have just, like, stayed up there. I mean, yeah, I guess they also are super popular. It's just crazy to think about. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of them in sports games, too. It's also something crazy. Seven Days to Die is also kind of crazy. I mean, it only has 300. Well, I guess it's still a lot, but... <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't realize Phasma was that big of a category. I guess it makes sense, but yeah. It's bigger than Street Fighter Six. What does Tekken have? It seems like Tekken has very few. Which is surprising. Because I don't think I've seen Tekken. Yeah, Tekken has 119. Wow. It has more than Among Us. I always forget, like, yeah, Among Us actually doesn't have that many people stream it anymore. Because it's like... I think it's like two main groups, and like, that's about it. Because <laughs> it's also like super hard to set up, uh... Like actually streaming it. <laughs> yeah. Like getting people together for it. I mean, obviously, when like you have it set to like a weekly thing, then it's not hard, but. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it can be hard. Hey, right, let me go to the end. At least I had average channel six. There's freaking six people playing Batman Arkham City. I played Arkham City, actually. <laughs> oh, that's the last seven days. There were six channels streaming Arkham City. Because I actually streamed Arkham City at one point. Um, it also seems like it's a different Arkham City. It's not like the original one. Because it's Batman Return to Arkham, Arkham City. Unless that's actually what Arkham City's full title is. But, yeah. Wait, does it literally tell you, like... Oh yeah, it, it does full on, full on have a thing. It's like, oh yeah, this can get you more viewers, potentially. Which, I like how the first one is Casino Simulator. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I 
That's awesome, dude. I love that. Jackbox makes sense, but also like, I feel like you need to start with some viewers before you start a Jackbox stream. You can't just do it by yourself. Animal Fighters, Super Mario World. This is last. Oh, it seems like last still helpful. Lethal Company is there. It's 229th. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's... I love that. Oh, Tournament Poker. It's number six. Awesome. I love gambling. That's so cool. Same with Gartic Phone, honestly. Is Gartic Phone also is mentioned there? I think you also, also need a group of friends for that one. Or I make her two. I think my brother has it, so I'd have to go to his room to play it. But, yeah. I can see Mario Maker too. I actually can. Like people still come back to see it. And like see other player or other people. Well I guess they are second with players, but other people going through it. I can see that one. That makes sense. I got it with the ones that worked out best with me is Mario Party Superstars and Mario Galaxy. Those are the two that worked out the best for me. Which I am curious if like Superstars is on there. Because yeah, Superstars works out great for me. I always get like at least one person like like watch like go onto my stream. I like how GeoGuessr's on there, and I feel like Ellie might be a part of that. <laughs> I've seen Ellie on GeoGuessr a lot. It was funny though too, because on one of the clips like where uh she talked about the Neuro Dog Um just changed 108th, I don't believe you. <laughs> Um, but like on those clips, someone put in the comments, uh, freaking every time Ellie talks about, uh, Vettel or like something along the lines, like it's freaking with the geo guesser going on. <laughs> I just found that really funny. Don't starve. I actually don't see my person. Hitman's number 134. I literally had zero people watch me. Maybe it's just because I watched it at a bad time. Like, maybe I needed to watch, like, be there when someone else was doing it. But, like, yeah, I didn't have... That, that didn't work out for me. I don't know, man. man Northern Lion seems like he plays it. I think he gets a lot of views. Yeah, I, my chat did not move. I didn't get a single message when I played it, man. Mario Kart Wii, that makes sense. A lot of people like Mario Kart Wii. Overcooked 2. I did play through Overcooked 2. I don't think anybody watched it, though. It was a lot. A long time ago. Tekken 8's on there. I got one person, too, and that was like my second stream playing Tekken, I think. No, I think it was my first. I, my first stream, I didn't do anything. Yeah, it was my first. <clears throat> This one's 169. Odyssey's on there. I actually haven't seen Mario Kart Superstars, which I am surprised about. It's, it's worked out really well for me. But I guess it's also looking at like other statistics and Mario Kart Superstars, I guess just doesn't like fit the criteria probably is what it is. Like it doesn't fit into those statistics that well. That's probably what it is. But yeah, I definitely would have thought it would have been that. Or that would have been on there. What is that one I said? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, Galaxy. That's what it was. Yeah, it's also on there. Galaxy makes sense, because, yeah, like, there's not going to be many people watching that. It's both going to be, like, not many people streaming it and not many, very, very many people watching it. So, like, yeah, it's, like, the same thing. You know? It's just going to end up being the same thing. Yeah. I don't know why, for some reason, I, it was like, oh, two hours and 40 minutes I've been going. It's like, absolutely not. I guess because it's 940. That's why I thought that. I looked at the 40 on the time. It was like, oh, yeah, two hours and 40 minutes I've been going. Yeah, nope. Half hour away, buddy. <laughs> not even close. Yeah. I mean, I still have been going over two hours and I've been talking for the most part, you know? 
And so like, I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I have been pointed out a lot, but yeah, there was literally someone who walked in and was like, dang, you really know how to talk. I think it's because literally I, I titled it like I have things I want to talk about. This one I just titled, I don't know what to do, and I didn't change it because <laughs> I was just like not thinking I'd be talking the whole time, but here we are. Well, I think I'd kind of figured that actually, but I didn't think I'd be like going this strong, honestly. I think I thought it would be somewhere along the lines of like the week I had driver's ed. I think I thought it was going to be somewhere more along the lines of that, of how it was going to feel throughout these streams, but actually I throughout this stream at least but yeah no i've been i've been doing fine i've been killing it i think the content war is like i feel like i'd like to play it but also like i've seen gameplay of it and like dude it feels like it gets so loud <laughs> like it, it's just so i mean the screaming enemy is like part of it but it's just like it, it, it's just so loud <laughs> i don't know if my eardrums could take it like obviously you can turn it down it's just God, it is loud. That screaming guy is like way too loud. I mean, I think the whole point, because he sneaks up behind you and then that's when he screams. So I think the whole point is just to give you like a cheap scare or something like that. Well, it does also give you free views because you also can just go in selfie mode and just rook, like f hold the camera up and just record him screaming at you. <laughs> So I think he's also just free views and like free money. But yeah. Also some of the enemies are like crazy. <laughs> just straight up like a flamethrower. It's like, yep, okay. <laughs> yeah, I saw a little bit of Astral Spiss uh road to what is it, one mil? I think it was one mil. I saw a little bit of it. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I know like most of like Five Nights at Freddy's AI just because like I watch those videos and I've seen people play them like Spiff Just kind of like play those games. So it's like, oh, yeah, okay <laughs> Well, also I just find that stuff interesting. So that also helps <laughs> But yeah Because I think you can just camera stall Freddy and then you you don't need the cams for Bonnie and Chica, but you Using the cameras at all stops Foxy. <laughs> so like, yeah, you just put it to like Cam 2B and just flip the cameras up every once in a while. And then also night one, they don't do anything until 2 a.m. So, and even then they're like still very low level. <laughs> so they might not get to your door. So yeah. I didn't even realize FNAF 1 had... <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, my third's still not cleared. <laughs> God dang. Um, but... I didn't realize uh, FNAF 1 actually had sound effects. I didn't think, honestly, like, they used sound. Well, FNAF 3 did too, but... I don't. I didn't think they really had, like, sound cues until FNAF 4. And then they, like, leaned into the sound more. Which I guess is true that they lean more into the sound, but yeah, I guess it's also true that they had sound cues in the other earlier games. I guess it's just because like they weren't really talked about. <laughs> Cause like yeah, it was more visual based, pretty much. I mean three was a little less, but one for sure is like more visual based than this audio. For sure. Other than like when she goes in the kitchen, you know. Because I'm pretty sure it's like pretty noticeable. <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> the FNAF 6 AI is like crazy. Like, it's just like, they have chances to just like teleport and just like, yep, yeah, we're just right here now. <clears throat> and then just play a voice line. But they do it once. And after that, you just have to listen to voice lines, except for Lefty, who doesn't play a voice line. <laughs> I didn't even know about the voice lines, honestly, because I think I've just watched, like, Spiff play FNAF 6, and I don't think I ever heard it <laughs> in any of the, like, edited videos he did. Like, a decent amount, anyway. 
play FNAF 6. See, I didn't even realize that they had the the voice sent, like the voice clips when they were like in that like close to uh, the vent. I didn't know that. Like they were one away from being right next to it. Yeah, I'm actually hurting my thumb, I think, by doing this. I should probably stop. <laughs> this is probably hurting my thumb as much as when I try to get the snow world, like, my snow world record better. Yeah, leaf leap, though, I think I'm 12 feet off of perfecting it, which I think is, like, four leaves. <laughs> I didn't realize I actually was, like, kind of crazy at leaf leap, <laughs> honestly. I'm kind of crazy. <laughs> Except the times when I fall off, and then I'm not crazy. I feel like like if I were to go for the 180, because I know before like, I was just trying to improve the record, but if I actually were to go for the 180, like I'm just gonna have to uh, say screw it <laughs> and just like not like spend as much time and be like, okay, I hit this button, you know, just kind of be in the flow of it. The only downside I noticed with that, and like I've noticed afterwards, I think even like in Tekken, it's like I, my brain starts noticing patterns, so then it wants to replicate it. <laughs> and it's like, there's no pattern, dude, it's just random. <laughs> and like, yeah, it's really, really hard to get your brain to stop doing that. See, it sucks. <laughs> I think I could do it though. Yeah, I think like 12 feet is like four leaves or something like that. But I think I could do it. As long as I didn't screw up, obviously. I also would probably like have be able to do like five attempts before I like my mental will get worse and obviously I would do worse. Because I feel like also I've had the mindset with like those mini games of just like not stopping until I get a record and like yeah, no that can sometimes not be helpful and I think sometimes burn you out. And you shouldn't do that. <laughs> it's the same with like Tekken and stuff too. Like if I'm upset, I should like actually like quit out for a bit. Like if I lost a set and like I'm very clearly annoyed, <laughs> I should like quit out and like give a chance for my mental to come back <laughs> before I like queue up again. Because thing is like I immediately just go back into the queue and start the next one. But like. I think what would actually be better for my mental is if I, like, just quit out after, like, a tough set or whatever. And, like, my mental shot just to, like, take, like, a, a little bit of, like, a break. Just, like, a, f a few minutes. And just compose myself, you know. If I had a chat, just, like, talk about stuff, you know. I, I, without hopefully getting carried away, you know. Because <laughs> I feel like that can happen with me. I, I just get carried away with something else when I was talking about another thing. And yeah, it, it doesn't end well then. It's not great. But yeah. The uh, burp. Ugh. Now I'm burping a bunch again. But yeah, I think that food mostly got through my system. I think what I just need to do, honestly, is just watch more streams. Like, that's where I should be spending most of my time. So, yeah, I should... I should try that. I feel like the thing is, though, like, I feel like with my... Uh, especially, like, YouTube profile picture, like, you can tell, like... I, I, like, made it myself, so, like, I probably do content creation in some way. You know? It's not just, like, an image I got, or whatever. Um, hang on, I got, a, I got a text message. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this is an awkward time to get this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, my dad just texted me. <laughs> um, I guess I can just answer that. Maybe. I don't know. I have a feeling he's gonna set up a freaking visit and I don't want to. The problem is I don't want to visit. That's my issue. 
Because I think some is like I I feel uncomfortable. And like another is just like I, I just don't want to. <laughs> but I just feel kind of uncomfortable about it. You know, with like all the stuff I learned about my dad from my mom. It's just kind of awkward. You know? <laughs> so like... Yeah, it's... It, it's just awkward. I feel like I'll do it off stream, just so it's not... Like, super awkward, but I feel like it'd be weird from a... Yeah, whatever. I was gonna say, you'd probably think it'd be weird. Um... With me, uh, freaking... Well, not... Not texting back at this ten at the time, but whatever. I don't know why I still have some these. Like I don't know why I still have this. This is literally like the old podcast image, and I still have these. I think it was because I'm like, oh, maybe I'll use them again. The thing is, like, it's on my Discord. Like, I still have the message of like the, the image you gave me, so I can just like get it back. It's really not that big of a deal. And it's just extra clutter. You know, it's not necessary. I don't even know if I'm going to be doing a podcast again. I do love how they added a podcast section, though, after I stopped doing podcasts. That's pretty cool. I think it was like a year or so after, though. I mean, like, it, it was pretty much already done, but... It still, it's like, oh, cool. Neat. I don't even know how that like works with the algorithm though. Like if they have a separate podcast section. Actually, that's probably for like YouTube music, right? Because like doesn't like Spotify have yeah, Spotify has like podcasts. And I think SoundCloud does too, maybe. No, probably not SoundCloud. <laughs> um Yeah, pretty sure Spotify does. So I, I assume they're just like doing with YouTube music what Spotify is doing. It's like yeah, you can it would probably just show up on YouTube music. Although I'm not sure if it also work as like a live stream. I have no idea. I've clicked on this section like once, and then... Yeah, I don't know. Seems like you have multiple though. <laughs> multiple listed, that's neat. <laughs> you know? That's kind of neat. <laughs> you can have multiple just listed. I don't know. I feel like if I like just boot up Power World, and like people were to see it, it's like people would just like get mad, and it's just like I just want to play the game, you know? Because yeah, the thing I've learned with the Hogwarts Legacy thing, it's just like yeah, no, just just let people play what they want to play. Doing a whole witch hunt, like it just makes it worse, like especially for your cause, also, like the cause you want to help, it, it just makes it worse. <laughs> Because, like, obviously they were doing it with, like, a good reason. Like, a noble reason. It's just... Or for a noble cause. But, yeah, no, you definitely didn't do it right. <laughs> you definitely made him look worse. That, that, that's for sure. That, that, for sure, is something that, that just happened. But, yeah. That was something that I wanted to, like show and part of was along with the like Gerard stuff I about like at the beginning of the stream that Gerard video it was like I'm okay with like sh like sharing that stuff if like it wasn't the person's fault <laughs> and it's like the public you know it was like the public's fault and I feel like that's more fine too than if it's like a specific person and like, or if it's like, uh, uh, someone on their rise and like, yeah, you talk about the criticism they get, great. You know? Because it's not something that they did. And they will be reminded of and get heat, like, hate for. Unless for some reason people are still mad over it. And it's like, why? We can boycotting does nothing, like, stage capitalism. It's freaking awesome, dude. Like, yeah, that's the thing, too. Like, boycotting just doesn't do anything. Like, essentially, with the Hogwarts Legacy thing, it's just basically being like, well, I, I, <clears throat> I just won't play it because of uh, who the creator is, you know? And then it's like, okay. 
and then you just respect their wishes or like if they do want to like play you respect their wishes just don't be a jerk about it it's really not that hard and yet i see so many times and like also in like even like hollow live clips and stuff like that too just people being jerks and it's like god it's not even, it's not that hard to be like not be a jerk dude it, it really isn't like come on man it's also probably what aggravates me the most it's just like people just can't be you know not jerks and it's very annoying uh, i hate it so much it is not fun hey also with that text message my dad sent finally weird he sent it like now uh, although he does work at a factory job so maybe i don't know i don't know what his schedule is i haven't had really think about him since like january i think <clears throat> honestly or like february because yeah this happened last time where i was just like kind of uncomfortable to like visit him and then like i told my mom that and it was like oh well you can just like tell him that you don't want to that you feel uncomfortable too. He's like, okay. Like I, I told my dad, he's like, okay. And then yeah, he didn't. <laughs> he doesn't say anything till today. Cause yeah, I assume it's to set up another visit, and it's just like I, I, I just don't want to. I think part of me just kind of wants to move on. <laughs> You know, like I've, I've just kind of accepted what's happened. And like, my mom said like she wants him to be in our lives more, but it's just like, I don't, I'm like fine with how it is now, honestly. I don't <laughs> really care. I mean, yeah, maybe it's like a look after us kind of a thing. I don't know. So like obviously my mom would be more upset about it <laughs> it'd make more sense because like if it's from that angle then yeah that that makes sense that uh you would have that mindset but i mean i'm i am the child <laughs> so i i don't i'm like fine with how it is now Well, I think it's also just because, like, I mean, I don't talk to, like, any other family members other than my brother and mom. And even then, my brother I barely talk to. So, like, yeah. I'm, like, kind of alright with just not talking to him. Because, like, I don't talk to any of the other ones, so, like, why, why would I care? <clears throat> hey, if I can you clear my throat, but also I'm thirsty. This sucks. Actually, I think the thing is my throat hurts because of the freaking habit coughs or whatever they're called again. I forget. I think I forgot the name of them. I'm gonna be entirely honest. I think I forgot the name. <laughs> but I think it is like habit coughing or something like that. Yeah. Like, I've just kind of been by myself, especially, like, over the summer. Really, like, the past, like, three years, at least. Maybe even really, like, before that, too. But, <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I've just been kind of used to it. You know? I mean, not at the end of my sophomore year, for, for some reason. That one, I actually, like, I think I actually was feeling lonely. At the end of myself where you're like last day or something like that or like beginning of last week. It was something like that. I, I just felt that way. I mean, I, I then like stopped feeling like that, but it was weird and like out of character for me. But yeah. I think from what I've learned, because the other thing is like I also will like actually take what people are talking about with like their experiences and like see if I can apply it 
it's either my life or like someone else's or just like yeah just out in general and i think from like what like mume was saying or it might have not even been like what mume herself said but like the clips like the comments and the clips were just like loneliness is like when you don't feel accepted or like you feel out of place like mis mismatched um like you can still be around people right but you just don't feel like you still feel like out of place like kind of like i think imposter syndrome can kind of fall under that as well um but yeah that's loneliness um there's and solitude is like you just being by yourself and you being like okay with it you know which is kind of what happens to me like all the time because <laughs> i don't think i mind being by myself you know I don't think I would be streaming in the past like three years if I haven't. Cause yeah, I think I've done one stream where I actually played games with other people. The rest have been like, if I call it someone, was the podcast, which I think was honestly like it's only been like thirteen or fourteen streams. And how many videos does the watch channel have? Um, three hundred and ten. And that's not even including all of them, because some of them have been removed, or even privated. So it's honestly probably like 315, 316, something like that. Hell yes, yeah, son. Um, yeah, it's probably closer to that number. So, yeah. If I numbered my streams, I'd know. Actually, Twitch might tell me. It might actually tell me how many times I went live. I wouldn't be surprised if it did that. Um, I wouldn't be on a stream manager. Analytics, maybe? Overview. Actually, yeah, because if I do... Uh, the first day I stream to now... I've time streamed. Oh, I actually don't. It doesn't tell you how many times you streamed, huh? That's crazy. <clears throat> huh. Yeah, it actually doesn't tell you. Well, actually, it has the dashes, I think. <laughs> you know? It has the dashes to tell you, but that's... That's it. Um, yeah. So <laughs> these dash <laughs> on the left side, like until I got to like December of this past year, like now there's like all these purple dashes. But like before it, it they were like not there. I think it's cause like these are like ones. Yeah, these are all like mostly ones. And so why are some of these like half? Oh, I guess throughout the stream, yeah, that would make sense. Um, yeah, it's to tell you how many times they stream. I had 66 follows. I think some of those are bots. <laughs> so yeah, some of them, like, just straight up wouldn't count. So I, I think that's really what it is. It's just straight up, uh... It's just straight up freaking... <clears throat> uh, bots. I lose track of my train of thought a lot. <laughs> Two and a half hours though, and I've just been straight up yapping. Man, I even said, like, imagine me going three hours of a chat. I can go three hours by myself. That's that's crazy. I didn't even play a game. Uh, I just really don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Freaking doing the visit again. Ugh. Yeah, if you hear me clicking, it's just like clicking back onto the tab where the music is, just just so it doesn't do like, oh, are you still there? That's 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 what the clicking is. So yeah. My post and I got flown by my air going off. Wow. Crazy commentary going out. You know? The commentary is crazy. 
I should say the problem with like because I'm like oh yeah I should watch more streams and like part of those like with like Ellie streams like I think actually like when we stream on the same days we stream at like similar times <laughs> so it's really hard to actually do that honestly I'd, I'd switch to the Tuesday because it's like oh we perfectly dance around each other but yeah I guess like maybe she's not entirely consistent of what days of the week she streams because I thought like she actually did say that, I mean I guess I'm not entirely consistent as well at least like back when I was playing engage I know it wasn't because I'm pretty sure like every week I played engage or something like that one of those days I just wouldn't stream I think for one of them I actually didn't stream on the Wednesday or Friday I just stream on that Saturday but yeah I've gotten better at it you know yeah, I might honestly end it though. And oh, we've got we got pretty far. I wouldn't be surprised if I've gotten a few repeats on the the music as well. To be fair, it's probably not anything like too crazy because I'm pretty sure like some of the hollow life people use the exact same song. So yeah, it, it it's probably like not that crazy. Well, the thing is also like some of them aren't like. The only thing they fear is you and stuff like that. It's usually a lot calmer for for them because <laughs> I I don't care. I guess <laughs> I just put in songs I like, even though I'm not even listening to them now. But I'm pretty sure the original intention of that um, uh, playlist was so I could listen to them. I just again don't don't listen to them now. But yeah. I just need to be more active. Especially like the smaller streams. I'm just like kind of thinking in my head, you know. Just trying to think about it. Ugh. I mean, it's like the thing that like I'd probably enjoy the most, you know, alongside of a uh, like that could actually give me viewers <laughs> you know because like other stuff i've thought about was like man i i would not enjoy that <laughs> so uh yeah i mean too for this is like an hour over i usually go i might honestly i think well i think this is just gonna be something because i was gonna say like I, I probably would keep this up but i think for like when School's gonna start back up. Probably not. Because I'm actually gonna have a math class again. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have a math at all. My junior year. So. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I think I'm really gonna only have to think for like two classes. I think the other ones will, I can just get by just fine. It's just gonna be like those two classes that are gonna be kind of hard. But yeah, other than that, I think I'll be fine. I think I have like three, four study halls, something like that. I think it's three, three and a half, something like that. But yeah. Or two and a half, I think it might be two and a half. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll get stuff done regardless. <laughs> I'll have time if I need to get work done and get work done. Yeah, I, I think I'm just going to end it here. It's kind of like a weird spot to just end it, especially with like the time it is right now. <laughs> But yeah, I think I'm just gonna call it. I gotta stretch now. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's another thing I actually didn't talk about because, like, I well, I think I had talked about it before, but I I backs up against the like armrest area, so it's not the most comfortable. Because <laughs> like it's the closest when I'm leaning in, you know. It's just to like sit like on that side, just like with my back to the armrest. But yeah, my back doesn't really enjoy it. I think it's also why like I lean back a lot. It's just because like my spine does not enjoy it. So I'm like, OK, I need to rest it. So I'm just going to lean back. And yeah. I think I'm probably just going to end it. You know, I say my schedule, but I technically have a chat box. Well, I guess it's because I'm also on a... 
I'm usually on freaking like PC and consoles, which doesn't have a chat box. Did I spell that right? Sure didn't. All right, I can't spell. Uh, I think I mixed the the H and the uh. Wait, right, hang on. Or can I just not? Oh wait, did I miss a U? No, I didn't. This is how I spelled it last time. I can't spell. I know I. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I know I spell. I should have just said the freaking outro. Dang it. <laughs> I can't spell. What is the freaking command again? Did I spell that wrong? Wait. I, I thought I spelled that right. Oh, did I, is it a whisper? Because I'm pretty sure I spelled it right. Yeah, did I not? Spelled it right. What? <laughs> Hang on. Did I have it set to whisper? No, I have it to every, uh, reply in chat. Why did that work? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so weird. Why did that not work? Is it because I'm doing it in Streamlabs? What if I do it in... Well, that doesn't make any sense, because... Streamlabs is where I made the command. Okay, I... Because I... here's the thing, I spelled it this way. And I know I have a cooldown on it. Let me reduce the cooldown, maybe? Let me... Let me try that. And see if that that works. I know it worked before because I've done it on stream. So like, for this not to work now is really weird. What I made it if it has no cooldown? Maybe that'll work. I don't know. I'm just. Because, yeah, the, the bot should be modded, and, like, it shouldn't be banned. What, why is he not doing that? What, what is he doing? What? Come on, man. Is he turn Oh, he's turned off. God freaking... He, he was turned off. Why is he turned... I literally didn't turn it off. Whatever. And whatever. I, uh, that should work now. Yep, there it is. There we go. There's there's for the VOD. There's my stream schedule. The uh, that took way too long. Um. But yeah. Uh, you can see all my past streams at youtubecom vods. And if you're watching the VOD, all platforms are well 6464. So yeah, uh, see you Sunday, because <laughs> today is Friday. That's how that works. So see you Sunday then. Goodbye.